we're gonna this is gonna this is gonna start off this is where <laughs> oh my god it's gonna start off it's gonna be oh we're we're bright we're bright i need to, i need to aperture down this is all new Aperture down, down, down a little bit on that bad boy. See now I look dark. Yeah. You're you know you're now now we're too dark. We're too dark. Probably because I'm sitting over in the center of the table. Uh, that would make you closer to the light, which would make you brighter. That's how light works. <laughs> but um, sure, sure, buddy. Never... Do, do you see how you're centered? You like see, I wasn't going to argue with you off screen because you're like, but I'm going to have some stuff. That's actually what she sounds like to me, by the way. <laughs> how much closer you are to the end of your uh, table than mine? Sweetheart, you realize I don't center this table. Oh. This oh. table is just in here. You should. So is, if the sides of the table go off frame, it doesn't matter if the table's centered. What matters is that we're in the center of the frame. This is what the people see. It doesn't matter where the table. See how that? I'm just trying to get the thing. It's like she's new to this, guys. It's like she's new. True. Forty-five episodes, uh, which I'll say she wasn't involved in all of them. But we're coming up on our year, our year Annie. But I will say I only. I think Anna, I only had what? April. I only had okay. what? Four episodes, maybe before you started doing it. There wasn't Until many. It got good, yeah. <laughs> that fucking asshole. But no. But seriously, what was it? Four or five episodes? Because we had some, we're like, I can't do this without you. <laughs> I get it. I'm fucking hot. I'm sweating. I'm hot. I'm always running around before these damn things, getting everything squad away. And no matter how much I pre set everything up so that right before it's not a stressful situation, right before I forget 19 things, I have to go up and down their stairs 20 times because I forget shit. And then by the time it starts, I'm fucking sweating. Hot. It's just bullshit. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a good week. Hope everybody's having a good week tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We got a very special episode. Very special episode. Um, we got a couple things going on tonight. One, we got the good folks at Blind Barrels sponsor today's channel, today's channel, today's video, live stream, whatever you want to call it. So big thank you to those guys. Love them. Big fans, big and fan. because they're sponsoring this video. They do, and we talked about this before, they do a once a quarter drop of their package, their yeah. their box, their subscription, yeah. their membership, their, I don't know what you want to call it, but they do it once a quarter. Box. They send out, well, we're going to do it tonight, so we'll go over what they do, but it's basically a really cool way to try new whiskeys, expand your palate, try new things, and that's what we're doing tonight. It's fun. It's a good time. Now, we're only doing the boxes from the previous quarter, thus not to spoil it for anybody. Yeah. So like, we're not doing the newest box because we wouldn't want to do this on here and then reveal which biscuits are what at the end. And then we'll, it's- We'll reveal them all at the end. Right, and we wouldn't want to spoil that for people that are still going to get their box and be like, fuck, no, I know what they all are, this is stupid. Uh, so we're doing the box from last quarter, but we're going to do the whole blind tasting on tonight's video. And we're going to schmuck the, uh, what the hell's the name of the cigar? My mic is tired. Mic check. Oh, my mic is off, babe. Is it? Everyone's like, Al, your mic is off. Al, Al's mic is off. Is, be, is, is that? Remuted Al. <laughs> uh, you know what I bet you it is? Thanks, guys. Sorry, I wasn't even in the... I bet you... Bow! I bet comments. you that's what it is. Now say something. Yo. There it is. Somehow that... It was trying to mute me, y'all. That's what it was. Somehow that echo cancellation gets kicked on sometimes and when that gets kicked on i think it just thinks you're an echo of me it's like she doesn't really not really important she's just an echo so we're gonna <laughs> uh, i love fuck with her what's tonight's cigar it's the uh la, Glo la gloria la gloria cubana. cubana la gloria cubana siri Bla siri what the fuck is that? Siri R. What does that say? Is that an R? Yeah, it's an R. Siri R. Black. Maduro. I feel like I need to have an echo behind that. Siri Black. Egg. Maduro. 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 <laughs> um, good scar. Y'all, this is another reason why tonight's kind of special. Not only is it sponsored by Blind Bears, we're going to do a blind tasting, which is super sweet. Super And this is an actually sweet. pretty good cigar. But I think Big Al might smoke a cigar tonight. She might. She said the other day, she's like, Jeremy, I think 
<clears throat> I think I'm going to start smoking cigars on the live stream. Why is it so quiet in here? Ah, I forgot to turn the fan on. I knew it. Something sounded off something to me. Sounded really quiet. The exhaust fan. We, we would have <laughs> known as soon as we lit up these cigars and it fucking smogged us out in about 30 seconds. Um, she's like, I think I want to start doing the cigars in the live stream. I'm like, really? Sweet. She's like, but I'm a little afraid to smoke the first one on the live stream because I haven't smoked a cigar in a long time. And what if I get like nicotine sick? And I'm like, well, you just. If I get green and peace out, y'all, y'all you got, are on your well, own. Well, what we should do is you should go downstairs, honestly, and grab you a little, uh, uh, grab you a little, one of your little snack bowls and put, yeah. and put some, um, those little milk chocolate nut. You cluster. don't have to tell me twice to get snacks. Little milk chocolate nut cluster things. I don't want those. It's got to be something with a lot of sugar. You can't have fucking corn nuts or something or nuts. Like it has to be something very sugary. Cause the whole thing is if you, this is a tip for you guys and you guys that don't know this nicotine sickness usually is caused from the fact that nicotine oftentimes will drop your blood pressure a little, or your blood sugar. I'm sorry, not your blood pressure, your blood sugar a little bit, which then makes you feel real green sick. Most of the time, if you start getting nicotine sick, if you eat like a spoonful of honey, spoonful of granular sugar, some ca a candy bar, something with a ton of sugar in it, usually that'll clear nicotine sickness up pretty quick. Pretty, pretty, pretty snappy like. So you should go downstairs and get yourself something very sugary. Okay. Did we uh, get the live stream bandana sale? Yes, I got the fund person. Yes, I've okay. got, I got those. I did that. Stand by, Brad. I don't know if it was you, I but got, we're going to announce got, it. I got, still. I got those right before. We haven't announced it yet. Yes, I think Brad was one of them. Oh, oh, maybe he knew he was. He already got an email or something. Uh, maybe no, but he might have gotten a notice that he got refunded. That's Ho what I'm saying. Hold on, no, we. Ha I was gonna have you email the winners, but I hadn't. That we did it right before the live because I honestly I forgot. <laughs> and then I was like, I sent Br I sent Brantley a message I was like, Yo, we forgot to fucking pull the winners. We need to refund some people. Um, one person was Samuel. Pasina. Pas Pasina, what? Oh, I don't know. I don't think people care. Okay. Uh, one winner was Samuel Piscina, and the other winner was Brad Smith. Brad yeah, Smith. That's Brad who was Smith. In here. That's you, buddy. Congratulations. Um, I mean, we're not going to give out his like information. Like, yeah, he said he got an email. Brad yeah. did. Uh, he got an email from his from exclusive or from probably from exclusive saying that he was refunded. Uh, okay, so then we don't need to send the winners an email. I was going to have you send the winners an email if they didn't get an email. Well, I know when Andrew used to do it, it would an email, yeah, but, and he would say you were a you were a winner. And, yeah, but Andrew's not doing it anymore. I know, but I mean, I don't um, know. what'd your email say, Brad? Was your was your email from <laughs> did it exclusive? say you were a winner, or did it just say you got refunded and that was it? Yeah, because if so, we'll still send out like a little congratulations email. Um, Andrew doesn't do the same things with exclusive; it's different. So things are we're it's all yeah we're transitional period. It's all good transitions, but. Um, Yes, but um, yeah, so congratulations to Brad Smith and Samuel Pacina. I think that's how you say it. Is that Pacina? Is that how you say Brad, it? Brad, I'll email you if you want me to. Is that how you say that? Pacina? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Pacina? So yeah, those are our two winners from last week's bandana giveaway. There are still bandanas out there for you guys that have not bought one. So mm -hmm. feel free to go out there and snatch one of the bitches up. And I think we actually still have some man cards left, which I'm amazed because I know we did get more this time. Every time we order a little we bit, we try more, to not have them sell out right so fast. So every time we order a little bit more and a little bit more to try to hit the number where they can stay in stock for a little while, but they are a limited release thing, so we don't want them to be in stock forever. But we also don't want them to sell out in like a few weeks. We'd like a month month and a half maybe for them to be out there for because you know sometimes people get paid or they had some bills they didn't expect that month and they want one but then they're gone the first week and then they're pissed because they got a ticket speeding and that money had to go and that was their expendable income for the week or whatever so anyway they're still but i mean it's down into the tens so if you guys want a man card definitely go get those bandanas are out there oh and of course all the, the bold fortune stuff that we did that's the newest. That's the newest stuff. I think the next thing we're going to drop is going to be the Zippos. I know you guys have been on me about the Zippos. Those are here. They're ready. And I think we're going to drop them next Wednesday on the live stream. And I think, if I'm remembering my conversation with Brantley today properly, we're going to drop those, um, the seconds. 
the uh, blims mm. of the uh, glass tray quattros you guys requested. I think we're going to drop some of those next Wednesday. I think that was what we were doing. I think we were doing the the zippos and the ashtray, the quattro blims. I think I'm pretty sure. Alrighty then. So anyway, that's a quick update for you guys before we get rip roaring on this situation. Who we got in here tonight? Oh, we got Carl up in here tonight. Carl Murawowski. What is up, my dude? We got Carl here. We got all the regulars. I saw Dark Side in here. We got all the regulars. We got some Don't mm-hmm. Tread on Me, some Gustavo, some Cigarro Preppers, some Anthony Hopkins, uh, some Joe V's. We got some Maurice. And Maurice, again, you guys don't know me. <laughs> okay? You guys quit reading my fucking mind because it's making me feel like y'all are psychic and you know what's going on over here and y'all don't know what's going on over here, even though you're completely right. I got truck shit and there's no B-roll. So, I mean, you, you hit it dead on the money because for two days I've been at the truck shop. Get By the way, the truck's looking dope. Taylor. Oh, look, there's Sam Pacina. T- P- Sam Pacina! He said thank you and you said my last name correct. Nice! Congratulations, buddy. I'm um, glad y'all are both in here. Hey, Daniel, I'm reading that book. Um, that was you. Was that you or Dark Side told me to read that book? I think it was you, Daniel. I'm reading it. Taylor is so screwed, by the way, on this build. We got the air system put in this week. So we got a compressor. It's all mounted underneath. And we've got onboard air, air compressor, air bags on the back end so I can raise and lower the back of the truck depending on what load I have weight-wise so that it doesn't sag in the back so we can keep the truck dead level no matter how much weight I've got in the back of it. And because I got a compressor and all that already in there, we went ahead and ran an airline to my bumper, so I've got like a quick release chuck in the back that I can plug in to air up and air down my tires. It's all custom into the bumper. It looks all fucking sweet. That, that does look pretty. I can control the truck by my phone. The airbag system is fucking Bluetooth, so I can like increase and decrease the pressure. Super fucking sweet. And I got train horns put in it because if you're going to have an air system and you're going to have an air tank and all the things that required for an air system, you might as well have some train horns. So we got all that put in and we're doing a rack on top. So it's, there's a lot going on with the truck right now and it keeps looking cooler and cooler and Taylor screwed. I'm just saying I love Taylor. I think his build's going to be very nice, but I think mine's going to be better. I'm just saying. Uh, Sarah Bear in the house. What's up, Metalhead D? What's up, Metalhead? I don't feel like we've seen Metalhead a lot lately. No, am I, am we I haven't. Imagining that, or has Metalhead not been in here lately? He's been like in school. I think it's, I think it's school or something. Well, Metalhead, yeah, glad to but see. But I saw you. him in here at the beginning. Glad to see you, buddy. Got my buddy Rune King up in here. Uh, we got some AJ Jarvis up in here. Some Patricia, Dustin M, Swoller McSwollyton in here. David Stewart, as always. What's up, my brother? Okay, I'm gonna stop reading off names at random. But you know, you guys know who you are. If I missed you, I'm sorry. I just I say a few that pop up first, and then we we move on with our day. There was a um, blind barrel. There was a super chat there? from Cigaro Prepper. Uh, I don't see super it. Super chat. It I'm, was... I'm way behind. I'm way behind because I started at the beginning. There it is, Cigaro Wait. Prepper. What up, buddy? Thanks for not doing this quarter's blind barrels. I have mine for Friday night. You're very welcome. And I will say that was... I'm so glad that you have a subscription. I am too. I will say that was the idea of the guys. I want to give them credit of blind barrels. Because they sent us the old bunk. Because we were like, this is the old one. I I know. We got it. Yeah, it's the whole point. They're like, well, this is the old one. Why are we going to the old one? They're like, yeah, because we don't just spoil it. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh. I'm I'm like, that makes perfect sense, actually. (laughs) You guys are... are, so smart. It's like you guys know what you're doing. It's like you have a blind tasting fucking subscription. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, that yeah. was a very good idea. I'm glad they did that, so I didn't fuck up everybody's uh, uh, surprise. Yes, surprise. Yes. Dark sides up in here. What's up, Travis? Good evening, buddy. Hey, man, the truck is looking dope. Got the airbag. You probably just heard everything I just said. You're in here. You just heard. It. I'm not going to repeat. We got the airbags. We got all the things. It's <laughs> but I'll repeat it anyway. It's <laughs> dude. He can't help himself. The airbags are so fun, dude. It's so fun because you can. It's like. like Having can, hydraulics. Yeah, it's all because you go <laughs> in the air down and then, and it's like instant up and down because it's not just running off the compressor. There's actually an air tank that the compressor pressurizes the air tank. So then when you hit it go up, it's like <laughs> I mean it's like I'll tell he's excited. Ah, uh, dude, it's so fun. And then I embarrass the kids at school because I got a train horn. So when I drop them off, I'm like, burp, burp. <laughs> and then they're like, dad, stop. It's so much fun. So much fun. Um, but anyway, uh, burp, 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 burp. okay, let me get caught up. Let me get caught up. Uh, burp, 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 burp. 
Uh, but yeah, so uh, as I'm catching up, yes, there there are no, there is no B roll. So Maurice is right. There's no B roll. Been was dealing with truck stuff for the last two, day, two days, and I'm really far behind on videos. So between trying to catch up on videos and being gone at the truck shop, getting shit put on, no, no B roll, no B roll. Actually, I get, you know what? Maurice is wrong. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on here. Maybe he isn't wrong. Hold on. Am I, is he wrong? Maybe he's wrong. I thought I had. Damn it, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, he's wrong. Look, there's a, be a bandana available now. That's kind of. That does, totally doesn't count. It totally doesn't count. <laughs> but it's B roll, damn it. Um, you know. So there. So there. You're you're you don't know me, Maurice. You don't know what you're talking about and stuff like. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought hey, there, Kyler. I thought there was one more. Am I losing my shit? What is this one? I guess I'm wrong. I thought I had one more that was. Um, Maybe I'm going crazy. I thought I had. Um, I, I wish you could make your font bigger again. Yeah, I don't know why my font's so. I mean, when I when I when I highlight them, they get big. You know what I mean? Like if I click yeah. on Maurice and go boop. See, you see that? Well, yeah. Boop. But I like to look at. You don't need to be nosy up in here. You don't need to be nosy. I like to see where you're at, com in comparison <sighs> to live. You know. B is for bandana. It's that's right. It's B for bandana B roll. <laughs> um, okay, so the cigar tonight though is the. Let me actually pull. Oh, I did. You know what I did do though is last night I didn't get home from the truck place until like eight o'clock last night because it took them a lot longer than they thought because there was some shit we had to go cuss full custom on and make brackets and shit because of course everything doesn't fit on a Chevy just the way it's supposed to all the time. Um, God love those guys at Twisted Pro though, man. They they. They go above and beyond for me, dude. I, I love those guys. I'm big fans. If you're in the Jacksonville, St. Augustine, North Florida region, definitely check out the guys at this Twisted Pro. If you've got any truck stuff you want done, because those guys crush it. They worked on my truck. They close at 6. They kept going until 8 o'clock at night to try to get my truck done for me. And um, I appreciate that. Not, a lot of places don't do that. A lot of places, it's like closing time. They're like, yeah, your shit's not done. You're going to have to come get it tomorrow. <laughs> like, you know, they they... they they go the extra mile. Um, so I appreciate those guys. And they always do top-notch work. So, um, But I did when I got home. I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I know I'm not going to have time for B-roll. But I'm going to sit here and watch a little TV and chill out tonight. By the way, did you know they're replaying like the 90s X-Men cartoon from like when we were in like back when I was like a teenager? The 90s X-Men whatever. Not only do they have a new series called X-Men 97, but they're replaying all the old ones that were from back in the night. Yeah, so anyway. So last night I was like... Watching geeking cartoons. Geeking out. And, yeah, I was geeking out watching cartoons and smoking cigars. So I'm a huge nerd, but whatever. <laughs> um, I did smoke the cigar last night, so I do have my notes. This is the. Oh, let's go to our. our let's go to our ghetto B-roll cam. Right here. There we go. You can still see it. See, it's a good-looking cigar. It's a big, thick dog. Are you gonna smoke one of these? I don't want to waste one. I, I'm not. Probably won't be able to smoke the whole thing. I mean, it don't matter. If you want to smoke it, you can. Uh, or you can wait until we have a smaller one if you think. Uh, let me see will that will that balance there. Will that balance? Oh, look at that! Look at that! Wow! Um, La Gloria Cubana Siri R Black Maduro. It is a number fifty four, which coincides coincides coincides. That's the right word. What well, ends up being a six by fifty four? It is a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. Has Nicaraguan and Nicar uh, fillers and binders. Or binder, I should say. Comes in around eight or nine bucks. And uh, yeah, pretty good cigar. I in, uh, historically have not been a big fan of the uh, La Gloria Cubana. I'm not going to say not a big fan like I dislike their stuff. It's just not one that I've smoked a lot of. It's not like when I see this in the humidor, I'm like, oh, let me grab those. But after smoking this, I'm probably going to grab some more because this I actually enjoy this cigar. It's not a uh, crazy, funky flavor adventure with like all these transitions and stuff. It's pretty – and I didn't pull a lot. And you'll see as we go through the notes as we smoke. I didn't pull like a ton of weird little flavors out of it. It was pretty basic flavors I got in this one. 
But the flavors that are in here were really good. It was consistent. It had a good burn, had a good draw. And I mean, you know, it's like eight bucks. So that's a really good price for a good quality cigar. Um, on the nose, I got a grassy, dusty. It was. The, I'm not getting as much as this one because it's been out of the cellophane for a while. But the one that I pulled last night, fresh out of the cellophane, I very specifically got like a very grassy note, which is weird because I don't normally get it. It wasn't like a super green, just fresh cut grassy note, but it wasn't hay either. It was like somewhere in between. It was fresher than hay, but not as fresh as gra fresh cut grass. Does that make sense? Anyway. Like a dead grass? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a dusty barn. But on the, on the foot, though, I got a really nice, like, chocolatey, nutty, chocolatey, nutty situation on the foot. What are you getting on the foot? Or what are you getting on the cigar, period? Doesn't have to be just on the foot. Um, smells like kind of like a goat. <laughs> smells like a petting zoo <laughs> that should be our new flavor notes by the way instead instead of instead of goat instead of pony in, instead of <laughs> instead of saying uh, manure or barnyard we should be like i got a, this is uh i'm getting a little bit of petting zoo i'm getting a little bit of baby goat <laughs> a little bit of baby goat a little bit of petting zoo yeah it's a little stinky um but Overall, that usually indicates that we're going to have a pretty good cigar on our hands. So we're going to get this thing cracking before we get our pours going for these blind tasting. Let me get my book out of the way. Get this thing lit up, get going, and then we will uh, start the pouring of the whiskey. Now, the cool thing about this... What the fuck did I do? The cool thing about this blind barrel stuff is you don't have to trick yourself. Right. So like normally when you do a blind tasting, you got to get somebody else to pour it or some shit. You got to be all like super secret and try not to, you know, find out what it is when these come in. Well, wait, we'll, we'll do that in a second. Let me get the cigar lit. And then. <laughs> it's, it's ADHD in full, full effect over here. Squirrel. Dustin, sorry you're sick. Sheila said Dustin's had the flu. Oh, Dustin. I'm sorry, bro. Sheila, are you like... Are you staying away? Because you don't want to get that. Dustin, buddy, I hope you didn't have the flu that we had in this house back. Whatever strain or variant we had it back. It was November. It was in November. Oh. Dude, I did, that was, was the, bad. That was the worst flu I'd had in a while. Um, that was the worst flu I'd had since I was probably in my early 20s. And I've had the flu here and there. I don't get it every year. I usually... Every other every second or third year i'll get it you know it, i'll get lucky and i'll get two or three years where i won't get it and then i'll get it and then I, you know um so i've had it several times since i was in my 20s you know but none as bad as when i was in my 20s until this most recent one I, this one whoo lot of mercy lot of mercy it was it was rough we all did, man. We the fever on this one was what was bad. We had a fever for like a it week. Was, it was like five days. Yeah, I it think. was bad. It was either four or five days straight. I had like a hundred and two or higher fever. It fucking sucked. Sucked, 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 sucked. sucked. Okay, so we got the cigar lit. I'm trying to get caught up with comments. Chris says she is very excited for blind tasting. Me too, Chris. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's a good... We, I love doing these. Yeah, they're fun. Because it takes all... I like doing blinds in general just because... I don't know. I just like it. I just think it's fun. It takes all the bullshit um, out. You know what I mean? It takes all the preconceived notions. It takes... It, it breaks it down to what do you like? What do you... What do you like? What don't you like? What do you taste? Yeah. What don't you taste? You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. It, and then these are all like different ones. It's not... You know... It's not what we have. <laughs> well, I mean, so. it might be. We don't know what's in there. I mean, it might be, I guess. But Could I be think something they're all have. like. They usually do a pretty good like, job. So not, far, like, all the ones I've had have not been whiskeys that I've had yeah. before. Um, but let me grab one of these. Oh, actually, I have one down here that's fresh. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. When you get it. They're like hard, hard to find. And we did a, we did a full video on this a while back, but they do a good job. Comes in this nice little box of that gold foil. Ooh, sexy gold foil. It's like a matte black box with gold foil. And then, bye yeah, look at that. 
It's pretty nice looking, right? I think they do a pretty good job on the packaging and the branding and stuff. I think it looks pretty damn schnazzy yeah. if I don't say so myself. Yeah, it looks nice. But then when you open it up, you got your little card in here and then you got four bottles, very nice and securely put in here. And you have no idea what they are because all they say on them is A, B, C, D. Let's see if I can fit this on this cam at all. Boop. Where's the focus? Where's the focus? There it is. See? That's all you get. Barrels that say A, B, C, D. So you have no idea. You don't have to trick yourself. You don't have to fool yourself. You don't have to get somebody else to pour it. You have no idea what's in those bottles. Nice, very secure. And then you get this nice little card with it. Where's focus? There she is. It has your little QR code here. And when you're done with the tasting, you click the little QR code and it will take you to reveal what A, B, and C, and D are. They also include a little tasting table with like common notes and stuff to help you through your, your tasting adventure. Don't go scanning it and ruin it. Well, why would they scan it and ruin it? I don't know. I mean... Impatient? Why would, I want to know. Why would they do that? That doesn't make you... They're glad... That, this is the old one. I know. But, um, you I don't mean, want, for tonight. You don't want to scan it and ruin it tonight? Yeah. Oh, nah. So you pop these little dudes out of here. Let's get them. There's enough in here, I would say, and I think I said this. There was this, plenty for, for me and you. Oh, and there's I, plenty for two people. I would say you could probably do three, maybe four folks. You could, uh, it, four and above, you're, you're going to start to get to where you're not getting very much whiskey if you're sampling for more than that. But, I mean, this is plenty for two people. Probably still plenty for three. By the time you get to splitting this four ways, it's starting to get a little on the lean side, but you could probably still get away with doing a tasting with four people with them. Uh, any more than that, mm, might be struggling a little bit, but very generous portions for a, a double, which is why we think it's fun because you could do it with your, your spouse, your significant other, your girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, a buddy, you know, whatever, coworker, whoever, whatever whiskey buddies you have. And I can tell right off the rip, this one is lighter than this one. There is one that has a very distinct color difference here. What is that? It's International Whiskey Day. Is it? Do you think I would know that? Listen, Jared just said, Happy International Whiskey Day, everybody. I had no idea. And I said, let me fact check that real quick. I hadn't. Because <laughs> I didn't know. And um, evidently... It is International Whiskey Day, March 27th. Well, happy International. How fitting. Happy that International. That we're doing a whiskey tasting. I will on say International uh, Whiskey Day. You can see right there, there is some color differences. These two much darker than these two. This is the light this is the lightest one. But there are some color differences. Now what that means? I don't know. We're going to we find shall out. See. But there are some color differences, but it doesn't really matter cuz we still don't know what the fuck's in any of the bottles. That's the whole point of the sitch we got a lot we got a super chat tony what is up thanks for super chat have you considered a new truck gun build in the new 8.6 black i'm trying i'm currently building one myself Ooh, very nice I, i'm actually thinking about um funnily funnily enough the guys at um oh my god I, dude i have seizures on a regular basis <laughs> not not truly Henry, good Lord. The guys at Henry actually reached out. I'm going to have a conference call with them next week. And they were wanting to do a little something, something with us because, and I've been looking at a lever action. I think you guys have talked to me for a while. I uh, heard me talk and I've talked about it on the live stream many times that I would really love a, go ahead and pour these. Yeah. Just make sure you put them in the right ones. Just saying, don't fuck it up. Um, I have been struck oh. the big fucking letter on the front. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've I've really been wanting a tactical f lever action forty five seventy for a while. Like that's been one of those things. That, I mean, I buy a lot of ARs, blackouts, stuff like that. But f I've really been wanting because I think everybody needs a couple lever actions. Lever actions are just kind of badass. They're kind of the gun that won the West. You know what I'm saying? Like lever actions are dope. Um, and I've really been wanting a forty five seventy. And specifically a tactical version. I actually want like a tacticalized 4570, like all blacked out with rails and stuff that I can put like Is sights and stuff on. Yeah, should be. I mean, if not, we can always I add mean, more. we still have. Yeah, we can add more. Um, but also and above that, I, I want a traditional 
like Henry Golden Boy or like a Big Boy or something uh, with a brass receiver, a real traditional style kind of thing. I really like one of both. But anyway, they reached out and they want to work together. So we're going to have a conference call. And I think uh, I'm going to do – he brought up a good point. It would be fun to do a truck gun build with a, like, tactical 4570 because it's not a semi-automatic. It's, like, legal in every state, right? Because, like, some states you can't have – you know, AR-15s, you can't have things with magazines and blah, 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 blah. Well, lever action, I'm pretty sure, is legal everywhere. So that could be a cool thing to do and show how that could be a cool truck gun for somebody who maybe can't do an AR platform because of uh, local constitutionally restrictive, constitutionally illegal <laughs> restrictions they have in some states. Um, so anyway... Long story long, I am thinking about doing a truck gun. I have not thought about doing an 8.6 blackout, although now that you said that, I'm going to have to do some research and maybe do it. Um, but I, no, uh, don't encourage I'm i definitely going to do a couple lever actions because the guys at Henry want to work together, and uh, I've been wanting one for a while. So there's that. Um, David Stewart says, I love my 30-30. 30-30 was the other caliber I was considering. I think what I'm going to do is a 4570 in the tactical version, and then I think I'm going to do uh, like my bra like the brass kind of traditional lever action. I think I'm going to do like in a pistol caliber, like a 44 Magnum or something um, like that. Um, but I haven't fully decided yet. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the 4570 in the tactical version, but I haven't decided the more traditional brass version what caliber I want to do that in yet. I kind of. I kind of do like that some of the the brass ones because they've got like the octagon barrel, like the old school like octagon barrel. Instead of being round, it's you know the that shape. Thanks, babe. A B C D. A B C D. Now we did put A B C D on the glasses just so we wouldn't mix them up and wouldn't screw things up. But um, normally when you do these, you have to hide the A B C D so you don't know what the hell's what and all this. But because we don't, <laughs> when we do these normally, it is like oh, dude, it's he's like okay. I'm going to pour these. You don't look. You turn around. Then you write these down and I'll turn around. And uh, that's the great. It's, it's a whole. That's the great thing about thing. this is um, you, um, you, you, you don't have to do all the tomfoolery. It's just, you know, the way it is. Yep. It's already hidden. So you can feel free to look at it, know what's going on. I wonder if there's, some, there's not enough room on the table for, maybe I should move these. I think I want to move these. I wasn't sure if you wanted to. Well, I was going to leave them up there, but it's, it's going to crowd the shit. It's going to crowd the thing. It's going to crown the stuff. Oh, look at that. Look right there. Little blind barrels right there. Look at that. Looks nice. Looks nice. Mm -hmm. the, I do love their packaging, man. I think they do a really good job. Yeah, I like I, their, I I like a their big, branding. I am a big fan of the unboxing experience. Look, I know at the end of the day, it's what's in the box is more important than the box. But at the same time... You, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? But at the same time, you want the unboxing experience to be pleasant, man. That's part of the thing, you know? You want you want it to be nice. And um, see, I can't do mine center because my laptop. So I'm going to keep mine over here by me. Okay. Um, a, B, C, D. You want to start with A? Yeah. So A A, I feel Canadian. I already sniffed them all. You already sniffed them, you cheater, bro, cheater. Yeah. It was just in that little bottle, though. So when I smelled why does that, smell that like, bottle, it smelled like apple juice. Why does this smell <laughs> like scotch to me? And I don't. I know they don't. <laughs> I was like, it smells like apples. I don't think they do scotch, but for some reason, I think it's all bourbon and whiskey. I don't think. Do they do scotch in any of theirs? I don't remember, but I'm sure he could tell us. Blind barrels. You're in here. Do you guys ever do scotch? I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever gotten a scotch in any of the ones that I've done of you guys, but riddle me this, riddle me that. Do you guys do scotch? It's very, it smells very fruity to me. It smells, this smells like scotch to me. I don't know why. There's something about the nose on this that is reminding White me. White fruit. This is reminding <laughs> Not me. Not red. This is reminding me of a, like a Oloroso sherry barrel age scotch. I don't know why. It's, 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 um, it's all American whiskey, he said. Okay, so it's not, so it's not any Scott. Man, this smell this reminds me of like a Balvenie or a all Balvenie, American whiskey. however you say it. The nose on that reminds me of. It. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little sniffing. You're gonna sniff them all. I'm gonna sniff. All right. That is. You know, that smells more like a bourbon or a whiskey to me. I mean, it's all whiskey, but more like an American whiskey or a bourbon. 
Yeah, that's pretty typical bourbon notes. I'm getting some yeah. some cherry, some sweet cherry I, notes. I get some cherry, yeah. That one's pretty faint. I'm not getting a lot on that one. Are you on C? Yeah. No, you're not. You're on D. Oh, shit. Mine are in the wrong order. See, so you messed up. Put them in the no, wrong No, I put them in the right order, and then you moved them around. Liar. Rewind it. You'll see. D is a little faint. Whoa. That one's different. What is that? That smells like grape juice. Yeah. Did you get that from C? It smells like fucking... And A smelled like apple juice. <laughs> that, rem that reminded me, for some reason, I got like a whiff of like white grape juice when I, when I first gave that a snoot. So you're not going to smoke a cigar tonight? No. I need a smaller one. Do you want that just a small cigar? You don't have to smoke the same that cigar. I mean, like, that's like large. <laughs> not even going to go there. Do you want like... A, I have some small ones. Do you want like a, a something else and like a little... Like a baby. Like a baby, a little baby. A mi a mi like a, like a, a baby. mild one. A ba I don't know if I have any mild ones. What's that blue one right there? What? The long blue one. Oh, what's this one? Jesus Christ. You're what's this little guy? Uh, no, you can't have that one. <laughs> I said I can't have it. Well, no, I don't want to give you, like, I don't, I don't want to give you one that you're going to waste. It's like a Can I smoke a hold fast? You can. You can. No, those are those are big too. No, but I'll whatever you don't finish, I will. You can smoke a whole fast. Is it gonna be too strong? I don't think so. It's not a terribly strong cigar. It's not a terribly strong cigar. Did you ever go get your chocolate that I told you to get? No. You should. I got whiskey. It's got sugar in it. That's definitely not gonna help. That's gonna make it worse. But okay, your funeral. I think it'll be all right. Okay. When she goes all blue, when she goes all green, y'all and uh. Grab you got some candies up there. Grab yourself an ashtray over there. Look, there's a little, 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 little buggy. Little, I know. I keep gnat, trying to get it. A little gnat flying around. We got a lot of shit on the table tonight, y'all. <laughs> it's we got, a lot. We got multiple ashtrays. <laughs> I got my laptop. I'm trying to scoot my laptop over, but it's uh, it's not. Uh... Let me take this and pop off this. Where's my big ashtray? Nice clean ashtray for you. Put both of these together right here. Okay, so we got two ashtrays. Why is this also off center? I'm feeling out of balance. Because you made me scoot way over. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with my laptop. It does not allow us to center everything. Because your stuff's all the way on that side of the well, frame. Well, maybe next time we need to move the cameras this way so you can center, like... It doesn't matter, babe. I, th this runs into this because mm, okay. of the space. All right. You want to light Let's this go. or you want me to light it for you? Um, you can do it. Just don't get spit all over it. What? Don't get spit all over it. What? <laughs> You want to I'm ready to taste this. You want to, you want to say something or you're going to stare at me while I light this fucking cigar? I was giving them some ASMR. You're, st you're still doing it. I know. It's on purpose. I want to Sometimes taste Sometimes I really want to number check you. You know that? I just want to... I just want to this give, really does smell like... I just want to like give you a little squeeze. Just a little squeeze. Like apple juice to me. D? A. 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 To, oh, no. D was, was grape juice. A? Ugh. Did you not. cut this? Of course I cut it. Good lord, you guys! This what? is gonna this is gonna be a <coughs> gonna be an interesting live stream. We got a whiskey tasting. We got Allison smoking cigars. Okay, alrighty, let's go. Ready? Yep. Cheers. A. Is that A? This is the one that was, that was, to me, smells like scotch. I don't know why. You know what it could be? To me, it smells like apple. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Tastes like scotch. <laughs> that tastes like scotch. Does that taste like scotch? 
more so than bourbon. Why does that remind me of scotch so much? Don't you taste apple? No, it's very good, but it just remi it reminds me about like uh, a, 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 the Balvenie uh, or uh, maybe even Glendronic 15. It reminds me a little bit of Glendronic 15 or uh, Balvenie Caribbean cask a little bit. It kind of reminds me of those two whiskeys. Um, I don't know why it's reminding me of those so much, but it, it reminds yeah, me. Yeah, like on the... It's got that um, it's got that uh, malty kind of yeah. flavor that you get from scotch that you don't normally get from like bourbon or American whiskey, unless it's like a. There are some American whiskeys that use a malted barley uh, type thing for the grain, and maybe that's what's going on here. Yeah, um, it's very good. It's sweet. It uh, has pretty good mouthfeel. Doesn't taste like it's really high proof. I don't think. Uh, for first whiskey of the night, it didn't hit me like a high proof whiskey. It hit me like a hundred or under, um, somewhere under a hundred, I would say. Um, nice, fruity, sweet, not a whole lot of oak influence. No, I don't taste any oak. It's fruity. It's fruity. It really reminds me of a scotch. It's very good. I'm really curious to see what the fuck A is. That, <laughs> it, none of these are scotches, but if you told me that, if you put that in a scotch blind, I would not pick it out and be like, this isn't scotch, this is bourbon. Why yeah. is this in here with scotch? I would completely believe that was a scotch. I don't know. Maybe my... <coughs> it's good. I mean, it's good. <coughs> Maybe my, my taste buds are broke tonight, but really reminds me of a, um, of a scotch. Very good. Fruity, sweet, good mouthfeel. Um, kind of syrupy, almost. Yeah. Under 100 proof, I'd say, if I was guessing. And uh, really nice. Reminds me of a scotch. Let me, let, me, let me cleanse my palate before we go to B. Before we go to B. Now, obviously, with these, the idea is not to try to guess what they are. It's just to kind of try to pull notes out, figure out what you like, what you don't like, and then we'll rate them from what we like the most to what we like the least. And then before we do the reveal, you can go through with this little thing they give, help you pull out notes. Like for instance, um, spicy. There's not a whole lot of spiciness in this one, but it starts out real generic, like spicy. And then it kind of breaks that out into black pepper, ginger, nutmeg, vanilla, cinnamon, uh, licorice to try to help you kind of pull out what kind of spice you're, you're tasting. Uh, then up here, there's one, let me see. There's sweet, sour, bitter, astringent, creamy, harsh, floral, lavender, heather, breaks out different things, fruity. Here we go. Stone fruit, pipe fruit. What the fuck is pipe fruit? Or we looked it up before. Citrus, Last exotic, dried this. fruit. I we would say... I would say the fruit in that, and it, see, it breaks it up. So it says stone fruit, and then across from that, it's got apricot, plum, peach, cherry. I would say this is more in the apricot plum sweetness category for me. Maybe a little pear? Maybe a little pear? I don't know, because I get apple, so. When you taste it, do you get apple? I get, like I said, like white fruit. So like pear. Pear. I, I would see like, pear before I would see apple. The nose, I could smell where you're smelling apple. I, could, I, I mean, I guess... Yeah, a pear maybe. On the sweetness of the fruit, I'm getting like an apricot plum pear kind of vibe. I that. don't know about plum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So anyway. All right. But it does help you because sometimes it is hard to pull notes. And it is pretty cool. November to have. Whiskey says A is a single malt. Mark my words. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you. Are you tasting along with us, dude? Because it 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 reminds me of a single malt, dude. A reminds me of a single malt. He said it's all American whiskey, but maybe there's an American whiskey company out there that is uh, doing single malts uh, like, you know, emulating the style of scotch they do over in Scotland. <laughs> Blind Barrel said, man, are you reading my tasting notes? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just because he said you're spot on. I mean, that's just what it that's. That's what I'm getting 100 percent out of that one, dude. 100 percent. Ready okay. for B? Yeah. This one is much more bourbon. Uh, this one on, but, on the nose, like this one is my favorite. On the nose, this immediately smells bourbon-y to me. I don't know if it is bourbon, but it immediately, I get those classic bourbon notes in the nose on this one. Cheers. 
You're such a clanker. <laughs> Mm. Oh. Whoa. That tastes like it's from Texas. <laughs> That's got to be from Texas. It's got that Texas what funk. Is it? Yeah. It's got that Texas funk. I don't know if that's from Texas. But it's got that Texas wang. And, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I've said now, I will say, just like we were talking with the guy from Still Austin a couple weeks back, Still Austin is one of the only Texas distilleries I've ever tasted that is completely lacking the, the Texas funk note that I'm, I, I speak of. Um, that reminds me of a Texas whiskey. I don't know if it is. I feel like that's still under 100 proof. That one has a little more fire to it. Yeah. But I still feel like it's not a crazy high proof. If so, it's a very smooth higher proof. There is a it definitely has like a there's a dirtiness to it. And yeah. I don't and I don't mean dirt like okay, when I say this, and I say this with cigars and a lot of times everybody's like, "Oh, stop it." It 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 it's um it's a musky, earthy, funky kind of thing. And it's not bad. It's actually very enjoyable, but it does. It almost kind of reminds me if, if, and I've tried to explain it before and I don't think I've ever done a good job explaining <laughs> it, but it kind of reminds me if you took like an old horse saddle. So you get the leather of like an old horse saddle mixed with like maybe a little bit of tobacco and like some raisin. Cause there's a sweetness to it. Yeah. There's like a sweetness to it, but there's also this like earthy leatheriness to it. I mean, it's like a leather. So it's like of. this leathery, earthy, but raisiny sweetness. I don't know. I, I've never done a good job explaining the Texas funk, but that has the Texas funk in spades. I don't know if it is a Texas whiskey, but it's got that Texas whiskey. It does. Note. It, it does. It's got that note. Yeah. I keep trying to kill it, and I can't do it. Okay. I would say. I would say that's I like a I like A better than B. I really like them both for very different reasons. A is a much. Like, I don't really like that very much. I like this one to me. The depth of flavor is deeper. It's, it's for sure. It's richer. But right? I, don't, I don't like this. That. This is smoother and sweeter. Although this does have a nice sweetness to it, but it's different. This is like a real fruity sweetness. This is like an earthy, raisiny, dark, like, I don't want to say jammy because jammy's fruity. It's, um, it's, it's like a dark, dank sweetness. <laughs> That's why I say like raisin mixed with leather and maybe some Dang. tobacco, like a sweet tobacco and leather and raisin because there is a nice sweetness there. And I feel like there's a little bit... Maybe a little bit of like a baking spice or cinnamon or something, but there's definitely that Texas funk is like the the big flavor yeah. that I'm getting the most. But yeah, I definitely, I like it for different reasons. This one, the flavors are really nice. It reminds me of a really nice single malt. This one, it's very bold. Like mm -hmm. there's a ton of flavor there. It smacks you with flavor. Yes. More so than it's this It's a lot one. of flavor. It's a lot of flavor, but you have to like those flavors. Yeah. So it's, it's different. I like them for different reasons. All right, short break. Let me get a... I already did that. A little operation hydration. Let me get a couple pulls on my cigar. A couple pulls on my cigar, and let's check in our check in our comments because we don't have to rush through this. We got all night. That's true. No need I to. I think this is out. Probably. Will it just light by itself, like this? Nope, it will not spontaneously. But I see you. I see you do that though. <coughs> that's usually what I'm trying you to do. Like this. That's usually when I'm I'm toasting it or I'm trying to like level off the burn. You need to you need to puff it. Am I even on there? Yeah, you were. You're it. Move it around. Move it over here. Right, right. Hold it right there. Puff a few times. Puff, puff, puff. There you go. You got it. I feel like this is gonna make my teeth yellow. Oh my lord. It's going right on my teeth. Well, that's because yeah. you're puffing it weird. You're doing like this weird like puffer. I don't know what to do with it. I, I bite it with my teeth. I'm not going to bite it. I, 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 my teeth, it, I'm, I've got it. Yeah. Like a pirate. But, but my, my, I don't suck it through my teeth. 
You're gonna get black teeth. I know. Do. That's what I'm saying. You get get your teeth like right there. Cause I'm holding. This is how to smoke a cigar. Well, I mean, I hold them with my teeth, so I can hold it and talk and. I don't have to. If I do like this, it's gonna fall if I let it go. I can let my cigar go at any time. Well, oh, I know you talk all. He he talks all the time with the cigar in his mouth, and it drives me crazy. Don't hate. Crazy. Don't hate. Participate. Crazy. Don't hate. Don't hate. Don't be hating on me, bro. I don't get nothing. I don't think I am. Um, you're, you're not puffing. You're I'm not, not ag aggressive enough. Well, you're also doing these like little baby puffs. You're going. Because I'm trying not to inhale it because my natural instinct is to inhale it. Mm. You know, you got to You got to do like a long, slow draw on it. Long, it's slow. It's going to give me wrinkles or something. Oh, my Lord. All right. She's the one that you said ready? she wanted to actually try a cigar. And so far, all she's done is said all the reasons why she shouldn't be smoking a cigar. It's well, going to give me wrinkles. Have. It's going to make my teeth be. black. One cigar a week is not going to do any of what you're saying. I can't. There you I go. Can't, that, that was good. I can't suck any harder. <laughs> oh, that's a clip right there. Can we just mark that? Can we just... Uh, that is like... That is a legit... That's what she said. I mean, and literally, she did say it. So that is a, a, a true, that's what she said. Let's get some comments for a minute. Let's slow down on this. We don't need to blow through this tasting in 10 minutes. We can, we can drag this thing out for a good hour. Uh, let's see. Drinking my favorite from the week. <laughs> Suck. Suck and don't swallow. Dustin said it dead on. Suck, don't, don't swallow. Uh, yeah, see, even Maurice was like, oh, my God, Big Al, come on. What? Maurice? <laughs> Uh, I'm glad I could be y'all's entertainment tonight. My natural I'm here till 1030. <laughs> my natural instinct is to inhale it. Snoop Doggy Al. <laughs> That's fucking great November whiskey. Uh, so my, she's like, puff, puff, pass, motherfucker. I really do have to think about not inhaling it. Don't you? I mean, you used to smoke cigars. I don't know why that's such like a Yeah, but thing. I primarily smoked cigarettes. I mean, I would occasionally smoke a cigar. But mm. it's not like how you smoke cigars. Mm -hmm. But I smoked a lot more cigarettes than I smoked cigars. You know? <laughs> David Stewart says, why do I feel like I'm watching a low-budget porn? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, yep. That's where it's going. <laughs> See, Mad Hatter said someone clip that. <laughs> All right, ready? Let me get another. Let me get another. Let me get another puff. Hmm. <laughs> ordered a new hat. Remember the leaf and barrel hats, guys? I was thinking about it the other day. All my hats, I tend to order one hat at a time and I wear it until it looks fucking gross. And then I'll get rid of it and get a new one. And I told Allison the other day, I'm like, order me like three or four of our hats so that I can change them out. Because when I wear them every day, I wear them out really quick. Right? So I'm trying to build up a little collection, which my man from the firehouse sent me like three or four. So I've been wearing those. And then I got a couple from First Coast Firearms. So I was wearing those. And now I got like three or four of my hats. So now I've got about six or seven hats that I like. So I'm hoping that I can rotate them around and not wear them out so quickly. But I remembered, and I totally forgot, that we had leaf and barrel hats. And I'm like, dude, I totally need to wear one of those on leaf and barrel. Durr. Durr. <laughs> so, yeah, leaf and barrel hats. I totally forgot we even sold these. That shows you where my head's at. Shows you how fucking dumb I am. Here we go. Ready? Okay. See? That's different. I don't know what smells. Why does that remind me of... For, for the first sit, sniff, I was like, honeysuckle? And then I was like, wait, juicy fruit? Like, mm. I got a little floral for some reason on that. For, for the first little nose that I got, it was like a honeysuckle, juicy fruit, floral kind of thing. I wanna, Maybe this is a rye? Maybe this is a high rye. I get juicy fruit and rye a lot. I can, I can see the juicy fruit. But I get that note in real high rye whiskeys or rye whiskeys a lot of times. So I wonder if this is a rye. That it smells like a rye to me. Smells rye-ish. I don't know if it is, but it's giving me rye. It's I hate the term giving me. I hate that, by the way. It's giving. It's not. It's giving me. It's just giving. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't know. It's giving juicy fruit. I, I don't. I don't. 
I hate that. <laughs> and when I hear people say it, I want to fucking hit them in the throat. Just like, pop, just right in the throat. <laughs> you know, so I'm, I'm not going to say that. But for some reason. Unfortunately for him, he has an 11 year old daughter. So for some reason, there's lots of giving. I don't know why I'm getting like a floral, juicy fruit. Yeah, me too. Floral, juicy fruit kind of situation. <laughs> Blind Barrel says, juicy fruit. If you haven't, I, I know you've watched some of our stuff before. I give the weirdest notes, okay? <laughs> juicy fruit is a big one. Red runts, I give a lot. Look, he even said that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I hey man, it's, it's what my brain says. I, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying it's what my brain tells me. <laughs> Sheila said, I haven't had juicy fruit in a long time. And Dude, now I want juicy fruit. Juicy fruit's delicious. Except that it only lasts like five seconds. This reminds me of a rye. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I do that every time. Hmm. Ooh. Got a good mouthfeel. It's my favorite. Love this one. That's got to be a rye. Love it. That's got to Love be. it. Uh, Scan the code. Order me a bottle. That's got to be a rye. That's got to be a rye. Right? Do not pass go. That's got to be a rye. Do not collect $100. Same little fucking peckernat. Why do little gnats... Do y'all call them peckernats? Do y'all do that? I call them peckernats. He calls them peckernats, and I've never heard anyone call them that oh, that's until I was, him. I, that's because I was raised around horses, and there's always these little gnats that fly around horses peckers. Why you call them? Yeah, the, the horses peckers always have all these little flies or gnats that like oh. fly around. So we always call them pecker gnats. Um, but um, I mean that's a super redneck country thing to do. But I, that's I was raised around horses in Georgia, so you know what I'm saying. Um, that's Blind got, Barrel said they say juicy fruit all the time, so y'all are on the same page. That's got to be a rye, right? That is. Well, it would explain why I like it I'm, so much, I'm I guess. I'm getting some spiciness on that, for sure. There's like a spicy rye spice kind of vibe. Mm, there's a it's nice, delish. There's a nice sweetness to it. What is the sweetness in there? Let's look at... I'm consulting our chart. Long Ash calls them pecker nuts, too. How about that? See? Long Ash calls them pecker nuts. How about so He knows that? what I'm talking about. Do, is this thing still going? Do you want a card so you can look at your notes? Nope. Done. Dead. That way you oh, can, I was just sharing yours. Well, that way you don't have to. I'm thinking that's definitely that reminds me of a rye. I don't know; it may or may not be a rye, but it's um, de it's definitely of the ones we've had so far the highest rye content. I would say, even if it's not a rye whiskey, of what we got, that's got to have the rye because it's got that spice, that rye kick to it. So it's a rye or it's a high rye mash bill. I'm guessing is is what my guess is. What's the sweetness in that? Let's see. It's very good. I'm mm -hmm. so bad. I'm, I'm so bad with all these, but I just know I like it. It's got to be rye. You feel that when you swallow, you get that like tingle, that little spicy bite. Mm -hmm. That's got to be. It's either got to be a That's rye or a high rye mash bill. But it's, it's nice, though. It's got a nice sweetness to it. It's got that spice of a, of a good rye forward situation. I'm trying to see what the, the sweetness is like. A fig? No, it's not as dark. You're under the fruits? It's not as dark as a fig. Maybe it's a quince. Maybe it's a quince. I feel like there might be a little citrus in there. I can, I can, I can see a little citrus in there potentially. A little citrus. Maybe. It's good. It's very good. It's real good. Tons of flavor. It's real good. Tons of flavor. Nice rye spiciness. Nice underlying sweetness. Nice bold flavors. I'm also going to probably say of them, that's beating out B for me, I think. I think. I've really enjoyed them all for different reasons. Like this one is super funky, Texas sweet dark sweet raisin leather like so i like that tobacco kind of and I, I really enjoy that this reminds me of a really good sweet smooth easy single malt which i really yeah. like this one is like a typical like american rye like in your face spicy sweet yeah 
I, so I, I like them for very different reasons. So it's kind of tough. And this is one thing that's kind of cool about blind barrels is these are three very different experiences. Oh, very. You know very. what I'm saying? And yeah, this and that is, is what's cool about this, it. This isn't like... Not, this isn't they're not like, like, we're going to taste all the... Uh, what, what do we do? All the... The Old Foresters old Forester. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Or even if you did like a tasting that had Woodford Old Forester, maybe some Jim Beam products or whatever. Like there's differences there, but it's similar. still... These are three very different situations. Yeah. This reminds me of a nice, smooth, easy single malt. This reminds me of a Texas whiskey. And this is, reminds me of a rye. All right. I could be totally wrong. This could be a Kentucky bourbon. This could be from fucking uh, Montana. And this could be from Florida. I, I have no idea. But my arrangement of what I'm guessing is no clue because it tastes like a single malt, Texas whiskey, some kind of rye. Maybe even like a Maryland style rye. Baltimore rye, I think they call it. They call it Maryland style or Baltimore Speaking style. Speaking of Baltimore. Dude. Prayers for all those folks. Jesus, that was a fucking rough situation. That's like, that's some shit that you see in a nightmare. movie. Nightmare. That's some shit you see in a movie. A whole bridge is fucking oh, collapsing. I'm my like, God. what? What? Crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy to see it. You know, wild and tragic. You want to relight? I guess so. I'm taking a. I'm trying to take some puffs, take a little time in between, give my palate time to reacclimate so that by the time I get to the next one, because a lot of times, see, this is one of the great things about doing these tastings in a live stream setting. A lot of times in a video, you're trying to kind of, yeah, because you don't want the video to be a fucking hour and a half long, mm -hmm. but in a live stream where we've got like, yeah, we're not used to that. We're like, okay, let's go. Let's yeah, go. Let's go. Let's go. This one, you could take your time. Yeah. You can let that one sit, take a puff. Taste it with a cigar, taste it without a cigar, take a couple drinks of water, make sure your palate's totally squared away by the time you get to the next one. Yeah, dude, but that, that bridge thing was, was fucking crazy. No doubt. I saw the video of that, and I was like, that can't be real. That is wild, wild and crazy stuff. Oh, will you go and make sure that we put Blind Barrel? I know I said thank you to Blind Barrels in the comments, but do we have a link or a code or anything for them we're supposed to be using? Um, yeah. Make sure I have it in there. We put it on the last video. Make sure, make sure. Stand I, by to stand, stand by. Stand by to stand by. Because I know I put thank you to them guys, but I want to make sure if we have a link or a code or something we're supposed to be using. Because I think they probably gave us a, is it a discount code or just a code? Stand by. Stand by to stand by. I want to make sure you guys know where to go to get these blind barrel subscriptions if you're interested. Because it is a lot of fun, man. I mean, you can see from what we're doing tonight. It's, if, if you're into whiskey or you're trying to get into whiskey, either way, it's a fun experience because if you're into whiskey, then you're going to dig trying to pull out the different profiles, different flavors, try to guess maybe what the mash bill is, where it's from, do fun stuff like that. If you're not into whiskey, then it's a good way for you to kind of tune your palate in, see what you like. And then it can kind of steer you down the path of, you know, what kind of whiskeys you want to explore further because you can get your, your kind of your palate down, so to speak. She's over yeah. there looking, she's over there looking. Yeah, there's I want to make sure we got the code for you guys. It's a Sires 10 for 10% off. 10% off Sires 10. That's right. Use code Sires 10 for 10% off. We'll put the link down below the description for Blind Barrels. So if you guys want to. And, you know, going forward, um, obviously, we're like I said, we're going to do these tastings on the backside of the quarter, probably, so that we don't ruin it for anybody. But if you want to get them and save them, and do them live, um, we'll always let you know. Because we're going to do one of these a quarter all year. Uh, I'm, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're all doing, year. We're going to do one of these per quarter all year long. So One full one full tasting. One full per, tasting per, quarter, per yeah. quarter all year. So every box they do this year, we're going to do one. So whether you want to just get it and enjoy it on your own, or if you want to get it and save it and do it with us, and we'll let you know when it's coming, obviously. Um, you can taste along with us. be a fun little thing. Blind Barrels, look, he threw it in the comments there. There it is right there. Sire's 10 for 10% off. And we'll put the link down below so you can link straight to it. Straight to it. Look at Cigar of Purpose. Right. See? Cigar of Purpose says it's worth there you go. full price. It's in there. Worth full price, but luckily you have us, so you don't have to. 10% off. Come on with your come on. Uh, um, what did I do? Um, 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 um. Where is... um? 
All or right. something else. Somebody had asked me, where did I live when I lived in Baltimore? I lived outside of Baltimore in a little country. I always lived in the country when I was a kid. We lived in, uh, I always tell people Baltimore because it's just the closest big city that people know when you say Maryland. But Baltimore was actually about 45 minutes from us. Uh, I lived in a little town called Finksburg. Little town. Finksburg. Right outside of a slightly smaller town, but still a small town called Westminster. So Westminster was where we went to do our shopping because literally there's nothing in Finksburg. Um, but I lived in Finksburg, Maryland, which was right outside of Westminster, which was a slightly bigger town. And the biggest close town was probably Baltimore, which is about 45 minutes away. So that's where I lived when I lived up in Baltimore. I lived up there for about six or seven years when I was in my youth. Lived in Kentucky, lived in Georgia. Then I moved up to Maryland for a brief bit. And then I moved down here to Florida. And uh, I've lived down here in Florida since I was a wee little, little, little guy. I was about 14, 15 when I moved down here. When I moved down here, I have to say my favorite places, though, even though I liked uh, Baltimore, uh, Maryland, Maryland was fine, but my favorite places were Kentucky, Georgia, and here. I like living in, in southern areas, personally. Um, I more, more only have experience living here. Georgia was fun, man, because we lived in the middle of nowhere in Georgia. We lived in Waycross, Georgia, which... Actually, we lived in Blackshear, Georgia, which is even worse than Waycross as far as being in the middle of nowhere. So we had horses and stuff and rode horses every day, hung around. We had a pool, swam, rode horses. It was good. No complaints. Um, so you put all the stuff in there? Yeah. Word. It's all there. It's all there. Mm-hmm. Hmm. David Stewart says he knows Westminster. I wonder if it's still the same. It's, ha it's had to have blown up since we lived there because we lived there in the late 80s, I guess it was, probably. Yeah, late 80s, mid to late 80s is when I lived there. So, I mean, that was a long time ago. I'm sure it's, it's very different now than uh, when I lived there. But uh, there wasn't a whole lot in Westminster. There was nothing in Finksburg, and there wasn't a whole lot in Westminster, but there was enough in Westminster. There was a little mall there and... A video store. We went and got our, our, our VHSs. <laughs> Did our weekly rentals. What you wanted to watch. <clears throat> you remember when video stores used to have the... You mean like Blockbuster? Uh, it wasn't even a Blockbuster. They didn't have a Blockbuster in Westminster. It was oh. just like... I think it was called Chuck's Video. I used to just go to Blockbuster. But do you remember the stores? Like it was called Chuck's. Because I remember the guy that owned it. His name was Chuck. And he was there. It was Chuck's Video. What was the CD, the CD store that was right there by Firehouse in Mandarin? Do you know the one I'm talking about? Turtle, turtle, green turtle, turtle. Tur mm. Wasn't there a... Uh, wasn't turtle, maybe. They, you, you, you could buy concert tickets there, and they sold CDs and stuff there. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Tur was it Turtles? Maybe. That sounds familiar. Why is that, why is that ringing a bell for me? That sounds familiar to me. I don't know why I was just thinking about that place. I used to always go in there, buy, buy the fresh CDs. Fresh? Yeah. You, using words like fresh, are we? Yeah. Okay. Now, I really like this, uh, this whiskey right here. Quick interruption to give some notes on this cigar because we've been talking this whiskey the whole time and I haven't given you a first third notes on the cigar. First third notes on the cigar, I had woody cedar, pepper, leather, and some nutty vibes. So strangely enough, in this cigar, even though this is a Connecticut broadleaf, which normally I get a lot of chocolatey vibes, I don't get a lot of chocolatey vibes in this cigar. I'm getting... And I normally don't get like a real hard cedar flavor, but in this one I was getting like cedar, pepper, leather, and a nuttiness. Very nice, very good. I enjoy it, but not what I typically would expect myself to get out of Connecticut Broadleaf. It's very good though. Oh, Chris said turtles is correct. Turtles, okay. Yeah, you're right. I thought that was the name of it. Yeah. But no, the place I used to go was Chuck's Video, Chuck's and it was it was video. it was funny because I remember back. I don't think in the, we had any video rental places here except for Blockbuster. Um, I um, no, there was Hollywood. But video. I frequented Blockbuster. Okay. But Chuck's Video was this little bitty hole in the wall place, and you would go in there, and it was funny because there was this one little booth in the corner that had a curtain around it, and it was the porn. What happened the, back there? The porn section. 
Oh. Right? And I always thought it was funny as a kid because you'd see guys go in there and they close the little curtain to look through the porn titles. And it's like, how embarrassing would that be? Because it was just like in a normal video store. Shade, like the walk it was, of shame. It was like the... Back it, to the curtain. Yeah, back to the curtain. You close. <laughs> and there's a little curtain. When you come out of there, you're like... Uh, yeah. Because it, it wasn't a big room. It wasn't. It was just like a little bitty, like a large walk-in closet with a curtain in front of it that was the porn area. <laughs> and when guys would come out of there and go check out, you're always like, oh, you fucking dirt dog. It wasn't like now when, you know, it's just all over the place. They said you missed a super chat. Did I miss a soupy? It must have been a long time ago. Oh, Gufferino. So oh, Gufferino. Thank you, Shit. Guffy. Sorry. Guffy, I'm sorry, buddy. All this tasting and doing and stuff, I just missed you, buddy, but I'm sorry. Gufferino says... Oh, hit that like button, hit y'all. Hit that like button, y'all. Thank you Yeah, man, love. Right, y'all, y'all better be hitting some like buttons, bitches. What we got? 117 likes? Hey, where's our one asshole that always has to click dislike? I'm not saying that they should, <laughs> but there's usually one a-hole that hits dislike. I think they come in just to be like, oh, I don't like you. Yeah. But uh, close to 300 people in the chat and only 117 likes. So what the fuck, guys? Get to smashing. Get to smashing. Get to smashing. Oh, Gufferino commands it. Um, okay, sorry Ooh. I missed that, Guff, but we're caught back up now. All right. All right, then. Maurice. Okay. All right, you ready for D? Wow. Ready to go, D? Yeah. You just, you're useless on smoking cigars. It keeps going out. And I can't That's because you have to puff it. can't them. be bothered with that. You can't. So it's very high maintenance, a cigar. I mean, not really. This one smells good, too. Yeah, smells nice. This also has, for me, ah, there's the one dickhead that hit no. See, you pulled him out. <laughs> Somebody did that just to be a smart ass. Um, 154. Nice, I like See, it, See, Maurice said you said it. He'll come now, and he did. Why you got to poke the bear? Fuck that bear. I'll shoot that bear with that fucking 4570 that I got coming from Henry. Shoot you with my, shoot that bear with my Henry. I do believe a 4570 is a legit round you could smoke a bear with. Because, you know, you get a big brown bear, you shoot it with like a 9 millimeter, you're just going to piss it off. Like, you're not going to stop it from mauling you. But I believe if you thud a few 4570s down range of that bitch, he's, he's going to drop in his tracks. I'm pretty certain. 4570 is a... Certain. Certain. <laughs> Okay, now there's two thumbs down. Now you guys are just being dicks. <laughs> I feel like uh, Blind Barrel says he found pineapple. Blind Barrel says he found that D opens up the long the longer it's out. I know my D opens up the longer it's out. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> sorry, dude, I had to, man. Anytime anybody says anything with D, I'm like, oh god, I'm such a that child. D? That D, gotta let that D breathe. <laughs> this one also is giving me pineapple. Uh, pineapple, huh? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Allison just pulled out some shit now. The fuck was that? Did you hear that? It's a compressor kicking off. Pineapple, huh? Yeah. I could maybe. I can maybe see some tropical things going on in here. It's hard. Sometimes somebody says a note, it puts it in your brain, and then you smell well, that it. That happens to me all anytime you say something, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah. it. <laughs> see? But I am looking I'm looking at all the flavors. Robert Lowe here. says forty five seventy is definitely a bear cartridge. <laughs> For sure, dude. Forty five seventy is all about that fucking blow it out life. Like forty five seventy is a gnarly round. Good night, Dustin. Hope you feel better. Dustin, buddy, thank you for popping in, even though you've got the floozers. Hope you feel better, buddy. Okay, let's taste it. Mm. Ooh. Whoa. That's tasty. That's good. That, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. That's tasty. That is all. Because it's so smooth. That is smooth. It's got this deep sweetness, and there's like a, what is the sweetness? It's like a. Pineapple. Uh, it's not pineapple. 
That's my no, favorite. I don't taste pineapple, D, but I do D's smell my favorite. it. That, that, till now, every one, I was like, I really like them, but I like them for different reasons. This one's my favorite, though. Well, I like to see the best of these, but this it's this one. D's my favorite. I, I, man, I wish I can't put my finger on I what. would say D is my favorite, then C, then A, then B. I hate to say if this. I had to, if I had to rank them. I, I hate just to, because we like ranking stuff. I, we're we're going to rank them. Okay. Well, I, I just did. <laughs> I hate to say this. But D really explodes in your mouth. D feels amazing in your mouth. It it it, it really does. It is an explosion of flavor. <laughs> D, and I, I'm going to stop saying D because it sounds like I'm talking about D, and it's weird. But there is a lot of flavor in D, and I mean it really like D really has it all. It has the, you know that like that when you some whiskeys when you get them and it just kind of blooms. I'm hitting my mic. Wasn't you, that what he said? It opens up? Well, no. He's saying the longer you, you let it out, it kind of opens up. But, like, I'm not going to say what number again because it keeps sounding like I'm talking about D. That D. Uh, that D. <laughs> but it is one of those ones that, like, as soon as it hits your mouth, there's, like, this syrupy sweetness. You hit the sweetness immediately. It just coats your mouth. And you're like, man, this is nice. And then it just... It just... Yes. When you open it up and the air hits it and you're nasal passages get involved because that's where you get a lot of your taste from it just i mm. mean buck i bow that's bow, bow. so good yeah d is very God, why does it have to be d <laughs> why has it got to be d why can't it be c why i gotta be over here like d's so good why d's the greatest <laughs> like it's why has it got to be d that's so damn good <laughs> yeah. Derek says oh i guess i wish i had d <laughs> <laughs> D is good, bro. Yeah. D is my favorite. That's delicious. It, D yeah. is for delicious. Yeah, exactly, Odie, man. That's what I'm saying. Jeremy, D explodes in your mouth. It's it's tough to say that, but I mean, it really does, dude. It. There's some whiskeys that have that, like, they just bloom. They just... And yeah. this one does that. I'm not going to say the letter. This last one, that's the fourth letter in the alphabet, does that. Yeah, until that... Oh, I want to see dude, what they are. Damn it. Why do, no nat, why do gnats like whiskey so much? Because it's sweet. When we're outside, it, they That's always... That's why you need a whiskey hat. They, we have a bunch. We could do that. I know. We have a bunch. I've got whiskey hats for days. You guys all really need to do this blind barrels situation. I've got whiskey hats for it's days. so great. I'm putting, I'm putting hats on them. It's a good time. And I said this before, and I, I've said this on... I don't know, a previous video that we've done with them, but I think this is a great way to... How many is that? I, I, I'm good. A lot of guys are always asking, like, how can I get my wife or my girlfriend or my partner or whoever to get into whiskey? And I think this is a great way. I do think it's a good because way. Because it's, it's just fun, you know? You can taste different things and kind of see maybe what you like and what you don't and... It's just a good little like at home date night idea or like if you have another couple over like friends and all do it together. I just think it's a good time. I'm a big fan. It's big a hell fan. of a good time. I agree. Let's see what it is. It's not time yet. We got to oh. rank them. Oh, okay. D, C, A, B. Whiskey hats, by the way, Done. for any of you guys that don't know, I'm sure all you guys in here are very familiar with whiskey hats because you guys are pretty much all whiskey nerds. But if you're not, that's what a whiskey hat's for. It's got a little rim on it, and you put it, boop, fits on a Glen Karen or a Visky. I prefer Visky, but we don't have enough Viskies to do a tasting like this, so we used uh, Glens. Actually, a couple of these Glens are from the good folks at Blind Barrels. Yeah. Um, I think they all yeah. are, right? I don't know. No, there's only three or four of them. Yours are all from there. This one's Bastard's Ball. This was from yeah. the Whiskey Tribe folks. Actually, three of mine are Bastard's Ball, and one's a Leaf and Barrel. It was a hodgepodge of what we had cleaned down there. <laughs> um, but yeah, whiskey hats. They have a little rim, and then they boop, they fit on viskies and on glens. And they, when you're doing tastings, not only do they keep gnats out, but they keep all the vapors in, so then you can kind of catch all of them. And then when you take it off, you get a really... This is a fucking scotch, bro. And you can get them now at www.com. JeremySires.com. Uh, well, actually, no. You get them at exclusive slash Jeremy Sires something or whatever. But you can get well, there you from can. you can get there from Jeremy Sires website. Yeah. 
You can't get these. Click on the shop tab. You can't get these. These are the OG leaf and barrel ones that we originally came out with. That was the first ones we did. And then the last ones we did were these, the do not go gentle ones. These guys right here, which I really like. Big fan. Night, Sheila. Sheila's out. Sheila and Dustin are out early tonight. Well, That's Sheila good. worked today. And Sheila she had a, worked she today. She had a shitty day. Dustin's sick. And then she got drunk on tequila, so oh, she's done. Jesus. <laughs> And Dustin is sick, so they're... So they're out. They're out. They're, they're, out, they're on Jay. the struggle bus. They're tonight. on the struggle bus. Look at those four smart asses that thumbs down. Look at those... See what you did? You did it. I don't give a fuck you those guys. You did it. Fuck those people, okay? Those thumbs downers. Yeah, fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. Those By the way, did you hear about Diddy? Yeah, dude, I always said that dude was an asshole. Fuck that guy. <laughs> you know what I'm I mean, dude. Fuck that guy. Fuck that yeah. guy. All the drama. I feel the same way about all what's the this drama. shit. What's this shit that Caden used to like so much? Oh, Yay. Yay. Well, what's the fuck his name? His name's Yay? That's what he goes by now. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. People that do shit like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it and go by Yay. Go fuck yourself. Well, I think that was kind of a nickname, so it was Kanye, and then people would just call him Yay. Whatever. So then he changed it. Whatever. Prince changed his name to a symbol. Yeah, but Prince okay. was but Prince was. Then it awesome. was like the artist formerly known as Prince because and, you couldn't even say his name because he has no letters. I, I hated it too when Prince did it. I thought it was stupid, but Prince, you know, some. I mean, a, Prince a, is like. Prince is you Prince. Can't, okay, that's you can't. Prince, but and, and here's something little known about Prince. Well, not little known, but I think a lot of people that don't know anything about Prince don't under, how, understand how good of a guitar player he was. Oh yeah, he was amazing. He was an epic guitar player, dude. That guy could fucking rip it on yeah. the guitar, dude. He could straight shred on a guitar, which is why I loved him so much. Yeah. Like I Purple Rain was awesome. All the shit that he did back in the 80s awesome, but like his talent on a cigar on a cigar on a guitar mm -hmm. is why I liked him so much. There's actually a um a clip of him doing, oh, who was it with that he was singing? What was the song they were doing? He was on the guitar. And he went on this epic fucking solo. It was, it was, it was awesome. It was awesome. He was really, really a talented guitar player. Man, I got really behind on the comments. I got to taste yeah, D. Yeah, I love Prince. I want to taste D one more time before we... I got to stop saying I bet D. you want to taste that D. <laughs> I know, it's fucking so... <laughs> this is so gay. <laughs> Derek said, did he like the D, too? <laughs> mm -hmm. Evidently. Oh, man. Diddy was diddling. You guys are killing me. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, dude, D's my favorite. What is going on in there? What are the flavors? They're I don't so, want to hear anything about Jay Z being in on it. Okay. There's so I hope Jay Z was in because on it because I actually do like Jay, Jay Z. Jay is like. I actually do no. really like. I never liked P Diddy. That guy can kiss my ass. But I I did always I have always liked I love Jay, -Z, Jay Z. So I really hope he was not involved in it because that is gonna bump. It was Tom Petty. That's what it was. Ryan Coe. Yes. There's a video of him. What song were they singing? What song was Tom? Ryan, what song was that that they were doing in that video? But it's him and Tom Petty, and Prince is on the guitar, and Prince goes into this fucking epic solo, and it is worth watching. It is great. It is fucking awesome. Um, uh, <laughs> see, Blind Barrels is getting involved. He says, sip the D in your mouth and swirl it around. You know what I'm saying? I feel super gay doing this. Um, <laughs> what is going on with that one, though? There's so much flavor in that one. It's like with a, D? With, <laughs> <laughs> there's so much going on with the D, I can't explain it. <laughs> it's so much flavor. It's deep, it's rich, it's sweet, but there's wood notes in there, but it's like a sweet wood. God, that sounds even worse. D is a sweet wood. What the fuck is going on? I can't... This is killing me, Smalls. I can't, I can't do this well tonight. I'm having a real hard time, but I, I wish I could do better. It's so good, though. It's so good. It's super flavorful. It's like creamy. It is. There is a creaminess in there. I feel like there is a creaminess. I think you did. That's good. I think yes. there is a creaminess, but there's also a syrupy sweetness. There's a nice, syrupy, yes. There's a nice woodiness to it, but it's it's a sweet wood in the D. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not bitter at all. Sometimes the oak no, there's no bitter. There can go oak bitter, and you get a tannic thing at the end. There's no oak bitter tannic note in there. It's all 
sweet and lovely and full of flavor, but what's the other? It's really delicious. Can we see what it is? Let's let's rank them first before we before we go into all that. Let's rank them. So I'm gonna go. I've already ranked. Mine I'm gonna go five times. I'm gonna go. D is my number one. Me too. So I, that's number one for sure. But I gotta taste the other ones again to make sure. I don't. The other three for me was. I <laughs> see Ryan's like creamy D. Oh my fucking god! I'm saying, dude, this all went. <laughs> did I get? Ah, <laughs> fuck you, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I got it, that motherfucker. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to have a hard time with these three. <laughs> noise, noise, Adam, noise. I'm going to have a hard time with these three. I'm because not. this was a clear winner for me. D, C, A, B. Done. I've said it already. The, th the thing is, though, I like these three for very different reasons. Right? I don't like the tech. I don't, I don't like the wang. <laughs> so you like the I like D, the D but you don't like the wang yeah the D has a little more a little more a little more pump <laughs> a little more it's a little more aggressive I like it yeah I don't yeah that, I mean that's it that's that's my that's my order well yes Jay Jay Frank I vote for the D I have the Prince uh, song is while my guitar gently weeps. Is the song? I guess. Is the oh, name while of it? my guitar gently weeps. Yeah, dude, that's so good. Yeah. Uh, so good. Um, I don't know, man. I'm sitting here thinking about. It. I'm gonna have a tough time because, like I said, I like these for different reasons. <laughs> you need to stop thinking about it so much and just rank it off of like just. First, like, first impression. First impression. Uh, okay, let me call it this. It doesn't have to, you don't have to get so like, oh, well, for different reasons and just, what do you like and what do you don't? What's, you don't have to think about it so much. Okay. I'm going to say this. I'm going to put them in this, this order. It's the same order, Allison, actually. <laughs> actually, I just looked up. I'm going to put them in D, C, B, A is going to be my order. But... No, no, no. That's not my order. I think. Isn't this, this the... Was it? I didn't have mine Wait. lined up in order. It's D... Oh, no. D, C, no. A, B. No, no. No, no. I meant this. I meant D, B, C, A. By the way, he's a freaking psychopath and lines his up this way from right to left. Not like right... Like left to right. I like do that a because... normal for, I do that being. because for them... It's, they can't even see the letters. I, I know that. But when I'm talking about first, second, third, fourth, to them, that's going first, second, third, fourth well, in the right way. I have to look at this. Anyway. One. Left to right. If I had to rank them, I'm going D, B, C, A. However, with the caveat, these three, depending on the day, depending on what mood I'm in... You rank D... You rank B as number two... That's the, the rye one, isn't it? Isn't that the rye one? It's the Texas one. Oh, shit. No. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. DCBA is how I'm ranking. Like I said. DCBA. But, Thank you very much. Well, no, you didn't do You did B as last. Oh, yeah, I did. So. Um, yeah, I did. He's right. I stand corrected. Um, I'm going DCBA. But again, depending on my mood and the day, I'm almost calling this a three-way tie because I honestly enjoy all three of these the same for different reasons. Depending on my mood, these are all three very good. This is the only one that stood out. D is the only one that stood out as a clear winner for me. I'm ranking them because they're, if I had gun to my head, I would rank them D, C, B, A. But... Honestly, this is basically a three-way tie for me. I'm just saying, I've got to put that out there because these are so close to the same for me that it's really hard for me to make a... Let's do, let's do a scanny scan. I'm going to scan it. Scan it. Uh, scan it. Allison's going to scan it. We're going to see. Drum roll, please. You're going to do D first? You're going to do... Start with the, with the last. Start with A. A is not my last. Well, it's my last. I'm not going to tell you. All right. You want to do sample A first? Yes. Do sample so, a. by the way, so when you click the, the QR code, Here. it doesn't automatically just show you everything. 
it show it has like a, a screen that says like sample A, sample B, sample C, sample D. So you can, you know, like you don't have to do them all at, at once. You can taste one and then see what it is, taste the second one, see what it is, you know what I mean, and not spoil the rest. And show, them, right. show them what it does when you click on it. All right, so sample A. You got to get closer, bit. Oh, I clicked on sample A. Hang on, let me make my screen not so bright. She always has her screen on. It auto, it auto. Super bright. Does it. So then it takes you to then it what the whiskey is and like all the. All the know, deets. All so the what is so what is sample A? Sample A is from Cedar Ridge Distillery. It is called the Quintessential American Single Malt. Ah, see, I whiskey. knew that was, see? I knew, I'm like, man, this tastes like a fucking scotch. <laughs> it tastes like a November scotch. November whiskey called it too. Fun fact, this whiskey is a Solera blend that draws from a oh, range yeah. of almost 40 types of finishing casks, many of them from Cedar Ridge Winery that is right on site. It is 90, 92 proof. It is a blend of five to eight-year-old whiskey, 100% two-row pale malted barley is the mash bill. I love it. Dude, that is, that is really good. I mean, I know it ended up in last place for me, um, and it ended up in second to last for Allison, right? Yeah. Um, but it's very good. Don't, don't think because this came in last place that that's not a good whiskey because it was delicious. No, this was third for me. I really liked it, actually. I just I prefer these um, it tastes, more full-bodied um, It reminded me of a really good single malt scotch. So, like, imagine, like, a Balvini or Balvenie, however you want to pronounce that. Um, remi think of, like, a Balvini Caribbean cask. Maybe a Glendronic um, 15. Uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of that. Reminded me of a, and because it's finished, it's set in some wine barrels. That makes sense because it reminded me of an Old Rosso sherry barrel. And I know sherry and wine. Let's are, taste it again so we can talk about the notes. I remember. And just see if you pick up anything. I, I I know sherry and wine are very different, but both of them give a very fruity vibe, and that was a very fruit forward single malt experience. It was very good. It's very smooth. It's very fruity. It's very nice. Um, so. Just because it came in last doesn't mean anything. Again, like I said, yeah, it basically, is really good. I like it. Basically, a three-way tie for me, as far as I'm concerned with these three. So anyway, so very good. So one more time, what was the name of it? Uh, the name of it was the Quintessential American Single Malt Whiskey from Cedar Ridge Distillery. And then when you do these, there's the link in there. So once it does it, it has the link, and she showed the screenshot earlier. There's a place where you can buy it right from there, right? So if you go to the top, um, go to the top. Yeah, yeah, there's a buy now button. There's a buy now button. And from what I understand, most of the time, the price that they put the bottle at is as good or better in a lot of cases than what you could get it for at the distillery. So if you like it, once you do this and you do the reveal, you find the bottle, there's a link, you can buy it right from there, get a really good price on it, and then get a bottle of what your favorites were. So it's a pretty cool experience and it's a pretty cool way to find cool bottles. And it's really cool. It's too long for me to read for this like on every single whiskey, but... There's a whole thing on um, just kind of about about the whiskey and like blind barrels kind of impression and take on it and um, it's cool. The notes the the on the nose it was herbaceous with notes of apricot, nectarine, ripe plums, which you said plum on mm -hmm. this one, um, rounding into hints of caramel and vanilla. And then the tasting notes were creamy on the palate with raisins, toasted nuts, and a, cit a nice citrus profile. I didn't get any citrus. It said orange Fanta, anyone? Definitely didn't get, get any. Fanta? I didn't get any orange Fanta. Um, it reminded me very much of like a Oloroso sherry cast single malt is what it reminded me of. All right. But, you know, to each their own. Yeah. That's the beautiful thing about taste. Everybody tastes something a little different. How do I go back? Back? The back button? There's no back. It's grayed out. Oh shit! I don't know what I did there. <laughs> just, just, re, just re-click, re-snap, redo, re, 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 revamp. So we did a. So pull this one aside so we know that we did that one. So that was my last place, but again, caveat: Allison's third place. Uh, B was Allison's last place. My third place. What was B? Do B next. Oh uh, yeah, B was the one that you felt like tasted like a Texas. B tasted like a Texas whiskey. whiskey to me. It's not. It's not. No. 
It is from MB Roland Distillery in Pembroke, Kentucky. From Kentucky? B is a Kentucky whiskey? Sample Get B, I, Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. We got to have something mixed up. No. That is a Kentucky rye. Get the fuck out of here. It is not messed up. I guarantee you. Hmm. I would have never gushed that in a million years. It says they bottle their whiskey at at still in barrel strength. That means that unlike most distiller distilleries, they don't add water when they're putting it into the barrels to age or even when they're bottling it. Man, that does not taste like a rye whiskey to me. 106 proof. It says it's 68% rye, 27% wow. white corn, 5% malted barley. I mean, it's got a, a, it's got a spiciness like a bright, rye. Bright copper color which is correct it does have a spiciness like a rye forward mash bill but it's got that funk that texas funk i don't know the tasting where. says bright and minty bright and minty what the fuck moving into good oak presence mocha toffee peppercorn spice and light molasses all those i agree with the peppercorn spice molasses toffee it's that dark and then it says closes with a nice cinnamon spice pleasantly drying notes of leather and oak Mid leather. to long finish. It's like I think it's the leather. Leather. It it it. I get all the 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 dark sweetness and the leather and all that, um, but it's there super funky, man. Like I, I I I would have put money. Oh, I see. I would have put money. Thank on, you, blind barrels. On that what? You told me how to get out of that screen to go back. I would have put money on the fact that that was. If you would have. I would have put I think you had me convinced, but it there is there's a funk to it. There's I, a it funk. Must be, it must be the leather that See? I don't like. Even Blind Barrel says super funky, right? Like it's it funky. Is, yeah. It I, I would not have thought that was a rye because no. I typically love rye whiskeys. And I did not that was my last. That was the last. I really enjoyed so. it. I thought it was very good. I thought it was very full again, a lot of flavor. I enjoyed it. I like Texas whiskey, so the Texas funk doesn't throw me off. I just thought that leathery, funky note that I was getting in there was 100% men. It was from Texas, and it was Kentucky. Some, How about that? Some of the Texas... That's why this is so fun, because especially... I mean, it's fun if you don't know anything about whiskeys, because then you learn about whiskeys. But if you right. do know a lot, you can kind of like have predictions about things. And yeah, then, and sometimes they're right, like with the last yeah. one, and sometimes they're very wrong. Like, I would have put money on that being a Texas whiskey, and that's from my home state. This is like our version of a board game. Right. <laughs> Like some people like to play board games. We just like to do blind uh, whiskey tasties. Well, well, tasty tasties. Okay. C was our second place for both of us, right? Or uh, C and D were both yeah. the same. C and D were the same. same. C came in second for me. That was the okay. one that we thought was rye heavy. It's either a rye whiskey or a high rye mash bill because of the, the spicy. It's not. it's not? No. What is it? No. So it's from Casey Jones Distillery in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Uh -huh. It's called Casey Jones Single Barrel Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Okay. Mash bill one. Oh. The mash bill is 96% corn. What? 3% rye. Gee, dude, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown <laughs> away. Blown away. I to was totally wrong about these two. Yeah. I was dead on with this one. Totally wrong with it's these aged two. aged three years, 111 pounds. How is there not more rye? It says aroma. Smell that. I know. But remember we said cherry? Oh. Didn't we say cherry on that? This is the one that reminded me of Juicy Fruit. Aroma said a punch of cherry, moving to earthy and vegetal notes, some tart green apple, bright sweetness underneath it all. God, I, dude, that it amazes me because I, again, I would have put money. I definitely get the cherry. on the I would have put money on that being a high rye mash bill. Either a straight rye or a high rye mash bill. I would have put money on it. <laughs> it's funny because on the tasting notes it says... The corn shines through. <laughs> the corn does not shine through. I am, I'm getting. With notes of corn pops, pecan pie, toasted brown sugar, heather, soft and vicious, viscous mouthfeel. Corn pops. I mean, Do I'm definitely getting, a, I'm definitely now that it's sat for longer, I'm getting a lot more sweetness and stuff like that than I did on the initial run. There's a. I don't have any left. There's a deep, like what was the one on there? I did taste like a um, toasted brown sugar. That's exactly what I got. Toasted brown sugar and heather. Actually, getting the heather because heather is what they use in um, Drambuie. Is it Drambuie? 
there's a Heather honey that they put in one of the the the, the drinks that uh, liquors that goes in a, a sentimental gentleman. So I could totally get that. And now that I know, I get less of that. But man, my original thing was that's got to have a lot of rye in it, and it's not at Me all. Me too. I thought. So. I think I thought so because it has that spice. It has that spice, but they don't even talk about the spice in here. No, it has that spice, and I love a rye, and so I and I really liked that one. So. Maybe it's the it says mild spice, pleasant minerality with a touch of licorice on the finish. So maybe uh, maybe it's the spicy licorice she note on the finish because it is the finish that I'm getting the spices on the front. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah, but that's how a rye does me. A rye yeah. on the front, I get a lot of fruity sweetness, and then after you swallow and it opens up a little bit, you get that spicy yeah. rye, and that's how that was hitting me. Which is I again, I nailed this one. Would have lost money on these two. <laughs> I would have said so te- I would have said Texas rye, and I was wrong on both. Should we say how much these bottles are? Sure. This yeah. one is 50 bucks. 50, dude, I'd pay $50 for that bottle all day. Yeah. That is a all day $50 bottle. Sample A, which was the Cedar Ridge, 60 is bucks. 60 bucks. $60 all day. Because the good scotches are usually 70, 80, 90 bucks for a good scotch, a lot more for Sample a B, which was the rye. Rye. Weirdest rye I've ever had. Texas before. rye. <laughs> Uh, hang on. Could have clicked by now. I did. It's right. just it's being, thinking. It's being slur. Okay, well, that one's not going. I'll try again in a minute. We'll circle back. Oh, wait. Okay, it went. It's trying. It's trying real hard. Okay, we'll try back. We'll, we'll try back on that in a minute. Okay. Ready for the finale? Um, see, ready? by the way, Blind Barrels agrees. He says, uh, I agree that... That 3% hits hard. Well, no. He said, I agree that it's so not corn whiskey. Way more depth. Right. I Corn whiskey yeah. Corn whiskey usually comes across to me as just sweet. Like, just sweet. There's not a lot to it. It's just sweet. Yeah. That, I, I, I don't... That fooled I don't, me for sure. That fooled me for sure. For sure. But it's fun to get fooled. Yeah. He said that 3% rye hits hard. That 3% rye <laughs> hits hard, y'all. It hits hard. That 3% hits hard. Hard. Um, uh oh. Is what? it freezing? Are we good now, guys? It doesn't. Instead, we froze. And we're back. Froze. But we're back. But we're back. Freezing and we're back. Okay. All right. We good? Ready for we D? Good. Ready for D. Get, get, ready get, for that D, ready, y'all? y'all? Y'all ready for that D? Yeah, ready for that D. <laughs> that was our favorite. What was D? This is. Did you ever give him the price on the last one? It never did load. I'll have oh, to go back. Okay. Um, sample D is from Nashville Barrel Company in Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Cask strength, small batch, Cask straight strength. bourbon whiskey. Straight bourbon. Uh, fun fact, they have raised, the founders have raised almost $4 million for cancer research through oh, their bourbon well, philanthropy. I like them even more. So that's awesome. I, I still think we should make a shirt that says fuck cancer and then sell it on the website and, and give it away to a fancer, some kind of cancer foundation. That would be awesome. Um, it's 115 proof, so I think that's the strongest uh, yeah. that we tasted, and, which and, is par and, for the course. For we us. are, we are, we do tend to be slightly proof hounds a little bit. Um, uh, not that I'm against a lower proof, really nice bourbon, but I do tend to like the things that are a little higher in the, the proof. It is aged six years. That's only a six-year whiskey? Wow, dude. They got a lot of flavor out of that guy in six years. And it's in Tennessee, which isn't even like a real warm environment. Yeah. That's wild. They, they, they pulled a lot of flavor in six years. I wonder if it's like a low barrel entry proof or something. Huh. So the mash bill is 78% corn, 12% rye. Makes sense. 10% malted barley. That one doesn't surprise me. Aroma notes are lovely rice spice, thyme, ancho chili, grapefruit. Maybe that's where I got the pineapple. Maybe that's where you There was a, a fruity um, thing. Uh, brown sugar and classic dusty bourbon profile. Yeah, there is the dusty bourbon situation going What's on What's dusty there. bourbon? It's just like that dusty, it's just like, a, it's hard to explain. It's like a dusty bourbon flavor. I, I mean, I know I'm just repeating the same thing. Yeah, you are. But it's... <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I have exactly a, what you're doing. Sometimes Thank I have you. a really hard time <laughs> articulating a flavor that that's like saying 
It's got a grapefruit flavor. Well, what do you mean grapefruit flavor? How do you explain grapefruit flavor? It's fucking grapefruit. Right. Well, it's fucking dusty bourbon. Like, I don't, I don't know how else to articulate that. Yeah, but, like, dusty bourbon is not a thing. I mean, it is, though. Grapefruit is a fucking fruit. So it's dusty Here, bourbon. Here, taste it. Okay, where's a dusty bourbon I can taste so I know well, what you're talking about? Go on the shelf and grab one. <laughs> right. Carry on. Okay. Tasting notes are sweet brown sugar, like a funky molasses rum. Yeah, see, mola or molass molasses rum, because it had this deep sweetness, but there was a ton of flavor. So Yeah. Herbaceousness. I don't really get a lot. On of the palate. I don't get herbaceousness. Some spicy honey in the background. Spicy honey, 100%. Spicy honey, rum, dark brown sugar, molasses. The finish is rounded, rich flavor with a crisp finish, alive and approachable. It's great. It's fantastic. It is real good, y'all. Real good. Let's see how much it is. You want to buy it? It's a nice looking bottle, Let's too. Let's buy now. 80 bucks. That's an $80 <laughs> bottle all day. I that, Honestly, like I would pay 80 for that and feel good about it. I have bought much more expensive bottles that sucked way more. 80 bucks. I'm just saying. That that and is a was... that is a I forget which ones we got to see and which ones we didn't. That's just delicious, man. It's good. There's that dusty flavor. Let's see. I don't think we saw C. This one, C, that was the Casey Jones single barrel, 50 bucks. The yeah. prices on all those so are like very... So it's like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 50 bucks, 80 bucks. The, the prices on these are all... Of course very, we liked the most Very, one. very reasonable. Very, very reasonable. <laughs> the D is alive. <laughs> very, very reasonable. I'm trying to go back. How do I go back? Where, where did you say to go back? To, oh, right here. Boop. Mm -hmm. Boop. I want to go back to D. Yeah, Small it's good. It's cast strength. Of course, of course we like the cast strength one. Of course we did. It's the cast strength, the most expensive, the highest proof, all mm -hmm. the things. All the things. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking Are at we? this. I was looking at this stuff on D real quick because I really enjoyed that one. I liked them all, but D was a standout for me for sure. Yeah. Really reasonable on all those. Really fun thing to do, guys. Honestly, hopefully, yeah. hopefully it came across how fun it is to do this yeah. uh, on a live. So happy to work with them. It's, it, uh, it, it's just a easy, easy. I feel like a live is a better way to experience this than a video because in a video you do have to rush it a little bit. Yeah. And um, this way you can see the whole process because you know this is what it would be like if you were trying it with a buddy or your wife or whoever, you sit around, you get some good cigars, or if you're not a cigar smoker, whatever, then, you know, be gay and don't, but, uh, <laughs> but sit around, smoke some cigars, drink some whiskey, have a good time, pick them apart. I mean, you could make a whole evening of this, right? Um, you could spend two hours slowly going through these things. Um, lots of fun, dude. I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. I think it's cool. Links below. How did the flavors get into? So Viking Picks, it's it's the wife from Viking Picks. She was asking a question right here. Highlight it. Who was Maybe it? You can answer it. What is it? About the flavor notes and stuff. Uh, how do flavor notes get into liquor? Is grapefruit put in the liquid when it's, what's that word? Ruminating. Ruminating. What the hell is ruminating? Like when it's, when it's. Uh, she just used some shit that I don't even know. When, know what ruminate means um when it's you know uh aging uh no there's no flavors added to any of these all of the whiskeys and stuff it's strictly flavors that are pulled out of the type of barrels they're aged in and the type of grains they're fermented or or the the mash bills made of right so Corn and rye and these different kinds of things that they put in the mash bill that they make the distillate out of has its own flavor profiles and characteristics. Some are more sweet, some are spicy, some are whatever. And they pull a lot more flavors out in the aging process through getting the wood sugars out of the barrels. Sometimes they age them in barrels that have already aged another liquor. So you're pulling some of the flavors from that. Like if you age it in an ex-rum barrel, you get more wood sugars out of it. Sometimes they'll do a double barreling where they'll 
toast the barrel, they'll age it, and then before it's done, they'll toast a second barrel, put it back in there to get a second toasting in, which pulls more of the wood sugars out and makes them even sweeter. So it's all through manipulation of different grains and different ways to make the distillate mixed with different aging processes, pulling different kinds of flavors out of the types of wood they use and the barreling they use and whatnot. So there's no additives in any of this yeah. stuff. None. They have to legally cannot add flavors uh, and it'd be called a bourbon at least. And uh, if they do add anything, they have to specifically say like whiskey with added flavor or whatnot like that. They're not by law allowed to do that. Same with scotch. I don't think by law they're allowed to add any flavors to scotch. Um, at least when no, I no. said pineapple, it was like in the same category. It was like on the same yeah, man. line as, as grapefruit. I'm you, pretty proud of myself for that one because I'm not very good at that. No, you're getting good. And here's the thing I tell people about tasting. Like, I know it's not, nothing's right or wrong. Right, there is no right. Because there is no actual, uh, there is no you know, pineapple. there's no grapefruit in the whiskey. It's just right. it's, what you experience. It's the same with cigars. And that's why there truly is no right or wrong. It's, but it, it's nice to, you know. It's the same with cigars. I like this little thing. Well, yeah, it's always a little bit validating to get that you got the same flavors that somebody else got. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm all right. <laughs> yeah. But, uh. And I'm moving some of the stuff out of the way, guys, so that I have a little more room up here. But, uh, but no, it's um, same with cigars. There is no chocolate in cigars. There is no, you know, you get uh, notes of chocolate or, uh, well, I was going to say earth, but I guess technically there is earth in there because it's fucking leaves that are dried out and whatnot. But there's no oak in cigars. It's fucking dried leaves. But it's what your brain kind of figures out out of it. So, you know, it just depends, man. There's no, and that's what I tell people, when you're tasting whiskey, don't be afraid to say what you taste. You can't be wrong. That's what your palate, ta everybody's tongue's different. Everybody's taste buds are different. Everybody likes different things. So obviously not everybody's going to be the same. Taste it, enjoy it, pull out the flavors, figure out what you like, have a good time. Don't stress about it. Supposed to be fun, not stressful. Don't tread on me. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Have you ever tried Quests End by Matthew Lillard? Is that a cigar or a bourbon? Or is that something totally else? It's a bourbon. Is it a bourbon? Uh, no. I've never heard of that. So whether it's a cigar or a bourbon or whatever, I've never had it. Is it good? Should I look out for it? Should I keep an eye out? What should I do? Um, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, see, Von Barrel said it. Everybody's palate is unique, you know? Everybody's palate is different. Everybody's taste buds are different. Everybody likes different things. So obviously you're, you're going to taste different things. Don't, don't be afraid to just enjoy it. Say what you're tasting. Mm, let me get caught up on some comments. I know I haven't been in the comments too, too, too much because we've been tasting shit. Mad Hatter's out. Night, everybody. Early in early morning for me tomorrow. Adios, Mad Hatter. Have a good evening. Have a good evening. Evening. Bill says, Allison, what cigar did you light? Notice, <laughs> notice he said light because that's all you did was light it. We're going to get her there, guys. Yeah, that's it. It was one of my uh, new cigars that she uh, lit, took three puffs off of and let it go out because she said it was too much to deal with while she was trying to drink whiskey. We're, we're, we're going to get her, we're going to get her drinking the whiskey with us. Maybe one night I'll sit up here and I'll have a well, cigar with you. Maybe on a night also that we're not doing a tasting where there's a lot going on. Well, I'm like, I'm distracted by stuff and then. Well, that's what I'm saying. We're doing a, we're doing a whiskey tasting. You're reading comments. We're doing a lot of stuff and you're smoking a cigar. So maybe not the best night to start, uh, your first cigar endeavor. Well, not your first cause you used to smoke cigars. That was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. That was when we first started dating. I mean, I was like for the second 20 time. something. Well, I'm late 20s. Right. Yeah. 20 something. Yeah. Um, 28 to be exact. What was I going to... Let me get caught up here. Okay. I think, I think we're good on comments. Okay. Okay. We're good. <laughs> but yeah. Last time, guys, definitely a fun experience. Links below if you want 10% off. Go check those guys out. Fun way to try cool new whiskeys and get some nice bottles that you probably, I've never seen, like I've never heard of any of those. 
Mm-mm. I've never heard any of those. I don't think I've seen any of those at local liquor stores. So we'll be ordering this one though. And and if <laughs> honestly, if I saw those in a liquor store, I'd probably blow right past them because I hadn't heard of them. All right. And you'd be missing out on some really cool shit. So definitely check those guys out. Links below, ten percent off. Let me give them one more little boop. Blind barrels. Appreciate you. <laughs> Appreciate y'alls. Appreciate y'alls. Um, I need to get working on this cigar though, because we got thirty minutes, and this is gonna be another one of these nights that I'm. I'll probably get down to taking the panties off, but I doubt I'm going to get... Um... Y'all ready for Winnie? Is it Winnie time? It's Winnie time. Is it Winnie time? He's being a good boy. He's just sleeping right outside the door. Oh, Gufferino says, I can't wait for the, cigar the Quattro Blims. They're coming, brother. They're coming. And I think we're going to do them right at about, about the 50% off marker. So I think we're at 70, 75 bucks is what we're going to end up selling them for, which is... Yeah, I think they were like 140 or 150, I think is what we originally charged for them. So it is a damn good. Oh, hold on. Look at that. Blind Barrel says if you order tonight, you'll get a free whiskey tasting glass. You nice. get you a free. It's one of these guys right now. I'm sure this is what he's talking about. Hold on. Let me get out of here. Where am I at? Boop, boop, shit, wrong thing. I got to get this gone. Wait, uh, uh, okay. One of these guys. It won't have the uh, sticker on the back that has the number, so we, <laughs> but it's just got their uh, it's got their logo on it, a little blind barrels uh, logo, which is a cool little logo, and it's a nice little Glen Karen. You guys should really look into doing some viskies. I'm just saying, viskies are awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, so definitely go check it out, man. If you guys buy one tonight, he'll throw in a free tasting glass. Night, blind barrels. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, buddy. So thanks for the fun, guys. Thanks for the sponsorship and the good tisky wasting whiskey tasting <laughs> experience. Got to help with bedtime now. Cheers, cheers, brother. Um, hold on, let me get down here. Okay, Winston. Yep, Winston. Look, he's already out. He's already out. This dude's already he's already useless tonight. Look at him. He just snorted. I heard him go. Go, he said, I'll have to buy two so Sarah Bear has her own. <laughs> uh, on a side note, can we go back to the truck, y'all? I'm real. Oh God. I'm 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 real excited about how the truck's turning out. I'm it. I mean, <laughs> he said, you're welcome for the D. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the D, bro. Appreciate that D. <laughs> that D was awesome. <laughs> um, every step I take of the truck, I'm like, I like it. I like it. But now it's starting to get to a point where it's accumulating into some pretty awesome, epic awesomeness. Once we get the rack on there and then I get the, oh uh, yeah, dude, it's going to get, it's going to get, things are going to get real gnarly here before too long. Going to get real gnarly. Also, dude, I got one of the new, I haven't tried it yet, but I got one of the new, um, uh, Blackstone just came out with a new camp version of the Blackstone. Now, for the home, I will say I'm not a Blackstone man. I'm a firm Traeger Flat Rock man. I've got a Tra Traeger Flat Rock, and I freaking love that thing. Uh, I like it better than the versions the of Blackstones that I've I've seen. And um, I love my Traeger Flat Rock for home flat top cooking. But Traeger doesn't make a little portable camp version, and Blackstone does. So they just came out. With, I think you can only get it at Walmart. I don't think they have it. I think they released it in Walmart's exclusively i don't think you can buy it on um the blackstone website or anything but um it's a 20 inch gas powered griddle and dude it is fire like i said i haven't cooked on it yet but i've watched a bunch of videos before i went and caught, uh bought it and my uncle bought one and he cooked on it and it's fucking epic a 20 inch propane griddle so you can, you know, and it folds up. It folds up kind of like some of the previous like camp portable griddles that I've seen were still kind of big, man. I mean, you're talking, you know, thick boys. This folds up. It's not much bigger. Have you seen, if you've seen like the Coleman double burners, the, the double camp Coleman burners, it's 
not much bigger than that. It's a little bit bigger, thicker, because it's got a, a whole big flat top in there, but um, really not much bigger than a Coleman double burner camp stove. But you've got a 20 inch griddle, which if you're cooking for multiple people, like if you've got a family like me, or even if you just got two or three guys you're camping with, do you cook a whole pound of bacon on that thing at one time and you're not over there struggling with a little fucking pan on a burner? So I don't know, dude. I'll let you guys know more as I use it. Yeah, it would be perfect for tailgating too. That's a good point, um, Douglas. Um, yeah, wa yeah, Walmart only. Yeah, they dropped it. I thought that was what I saw. I heard it was only Walmart, but um, Walmart has all the Blackstone stuff. Is that what's called Blackstone? Well, yeah, and they Is that what it's called? Yeah, I got the, the and it's in the camp section. It's not in like in, in the grill section or outdoor or whatever. It's in the camping section. And they have the 20 inch all griddle version, or they have one that's got, it's half griddle and it's got a single burner. I went with the full griddle because I would rather pop up a little separate like MSR pocket rocket single burner or like a whatever other single burner if I need a single burner and have that full big ass surface for cooking food. Um, but yeah, man, it'd be perfect for tailgating. You put it right on the tailgate of your truck, fire it up. You cook a bunch of food out tailgating or whatever, going to the beach for the day, taking the kids out, cooking, you know, camping, lot, lots of different things. You could come in for like a, a really nice portable. And like I said, it's got a lid that closes down, locks up and it's probably, six inches maybe probably about six inches thick it, it is a little weighty it's probably weighs 20 25 pounds but it's got a handle like a it's like a briefcase and then you can just throw that in the back of your truck and go to town look, <laughs> look hold on let me move these so people can see winston what's going on here <laughs> you have to move those too <laughs> Just, just look, Viking says Winston's the best. Viking pick says Winston's the best. He's just fucking out, dude. Just, he's got his mama. He's done. It's bedtime. He's, he's out. <laughs> Y'all could see like the, the overhead view. He's just out, dude. It's like you hit him with a fucking tranquilizer. <laughs> Isn't that what it's called? Yeah, I know I said pocket rocket. That's funny, but I think it, it's an MSR pocket rocket. Isn't that what it's called? Hmm? Right? Isn't it MSR Pocket Rocket? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Oh, it's know. like a little it's a little camp stove. I have one. MSR Pocket. Yeah, MSR Pocket Rocket. <sighs> well, fuck, I just hit Pocker. Stupid ass. Yeah, MSR Pocket Rocket. Yeah, I thought so. I know that sounds like something dirty, but it's not. It's just a little camp stove. Colin said, are you running onboard air or just keeping a compressor? Uh, well, yeah, I ran it on board air. So what they did, Colin, which is really cool, is because there was a compressor for the on, the, the airbags, right? So the way the airbag system works, it's, called, it's a company called Air IQ, I think, or something. I, I'll, you know, obviously when I do the video, I'll go into more detail. But it's got a compressor, and then there's a three-gallon, 2.5 or three-gallon, it looks like a scuba tank that powers the, the, the scuba tank. So, and you can go three different pressure settings. They recommend you start out for the first warm up at like, I forgot, I think it's 150 PSI, but I think you can take that tank all the way up to like 300 or 350 PSI. It's something crazy. Cause it's like a scuba tank. Um, the little compressor pressurizes the scuba tank. And then from the scuba tank, you run lines out and you could do lots of things. The lines run to the airbags. So you could pressurize the airbags. Um, but you also, I also have another line that goes to a chuck that goes right out, uh, my bumper. Actually, they, they custom mounted it and I have like a footstep in my Chevy and they custom mounted it toward the back of the footstep. So I wouldn't kick it when I was using it as a footstep, but that way it's inset and nothing hits it. And there's just a quick release chuck that I can plug an air hose into. I can use that same compressor slash tank to air up and air down my tires and it runs the train horn. So because I was going to do an onboard air system. I was going to do like an ARB or, or um, there's a couple other companies that make one. And uh, the guy there was like, you know, he goes, well, I'm happy to run an ARB for you. He's like, but if you want to do airbags for your rear end to keep the, the load level, regardless of what kind of loadout you have, you know, if you 
lighten up. You don't have your tent and all that. You can let some pressure out. If you have your tent and like a full camping loadout, overland, extra gas, water, all that, put a little more pressure and it keeps your night truck nice and level so you don't sag. He's like, if you're going to do that, we can just run everything off that system and then you don't have to buy a separate ARB system. He goes, it might not aired up quite as fast. He goes, but it's going to be close because you're not just running off the compressor. You've got that pressurized tank that has quite a bit of pressure in it. And I mean, it's instant. So like when I hit those airbags to get air them up, it's not just running off the compressor. It's coming out of that pressurized tank. So, I mean, when you air it up, it's like, <laughs> I mean, that motherfucker goes up. It raises it a up and you layer it out. Ch-ch-ch. So I haven't tested it out with airing my tires up and down yet, but I'm thinking it's probably going to hold up pretty good with like an ARB as far as speed of airing my tires up. I got 37s, so we'll see, and I'll actually time it out and see. I'm, it may not be quite as fast as some of the bigger onboard air systems, but the thing is it saves you the money of having to run a whole separate air system, and it's not going to be that much slower. So we'll test it out and see, but I thought it was a pretty good one and done solution. I, I'm digging it. Hopefully that was a pretty good explanation. I'll be doing a full video at some point. Soupy chat from the Cross Out Podcast. Thank you, buddy. I can't wait for the scars coming to the I- LCA. I almost said ICA. Do you know how much a box of cigars will be? And would you and would love to see the live of working on the truck? Uh, a live of working on the truck. Yeah, that could be. I wonder if I could figure out a way to work that out. We'll see. You maybe could do an Instagram live. We could do like maybe a little Instagram live, testing out the airbags and doing some stuff. We'll see. Um, that could be a fun thing. I don't know. I think we're going to do, I haven't done the final, I want to say the cigars are going to be, and don't hold me to this price, but I want to say they're going to be about $10 a piece and we're selling, you can, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to buy them individually or buy the box. Um, so if they're $10 a piece. I don't, the, I don't think they're 10. They're not 10. They're not on there yet. I know. How much are they? Do you already have a price? Hang on. I thought maybe I thought I saw it in the Maybe thing. I'm wrong. That's why I said don't hold me to that. But I, I, I could totally be wrong too. I thought I know we were shooting for around that mark. Okay, so tw- MSRP is gonna be twelve dollars a piece. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know we were shooting for the, the ten dollar mark, but you know, packaging the box and and that's why in the past we've sold cigars without the box. Because when you have to make boxes and do stuff, it adds to the cost. Um but so 1230 is going to be the MSRP. So a box, I'm assuming that's going to be. And like I said, again, don't hold me in these prices because I don't have all the final, the finals. But um, what the fuck? What am I doing right now? Don't what, know. What is happening? What are happen- you doing? What is happening? <laughs> what is <laughs> what are you hap- trying to do? <laughs> what is happening? What is, what is happening to my life right now? Jesus Christ. I'm borderline retarded. That's what's going on. Jesus, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> but a case, like if you get a about, case, about it won't two, be. About 246 bucks for, for a box. Is, it, is a box usually 20. discounted at all? Uh, you know what no, I'm saying? No, it's, it's usually basically per. It's just the same? Yeah, okay. it's usually, usually basically per. I don't know if it was like cheaper to buy No, nah, not know? usually. Usually it's just per. Sometimes there'll be a little discount on boxes depending on if they're having sales. But I mean, generally, not particularly. But yeah, so around twelve thirty a stick, and then uh, around uh, twenty dollars a box, or twenty dollars a box, um, two hundred and what did I say? Two hundred and two hundred forty six a box. Yup, yup, yup. Uh, again, we try to keep them as affordable as possible, but I, I truly think that that cigar holds up all day long with fifteen dollar cigars. I think for 12 bucks, it's still a great, great price for that cigar. It's a good one. AJ rolled it. It's, it's fantastic. I think you guys are going to love it. At least I hope you guys love it because we put a lot of work into it. So ho- hopefully you guys love it as much as we do. It's been a long time coming. Um, oh, Gufferino. I like to rub. What? I like to rub to like that. He is my hero. The first one, what? he retracted and then he redid it. Uh, okay, so hold on. Let me he, I think it auto-corrected. 
I like to be rubbed like that too. He's my hero. <laughs> Thanks for the super check. I was like, I liked it to rub. I'm like, you're rubbing? What are you rubbing, Guffy? <laughs> Great explanation. Sounds dope. Yeah, cool, man. Thanks. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I explained it well. It's kind of a complicated system. I really understood what they were doing until they started running lines. And then when they started running lines and there was like T's and shit coming off of shit, and I'm like, <laughs> all right, y'all lost me. I had, you had me, then you lost me. But man, they tucked everything up and you don't see any of it. Like they hid all the lines, they ran them all up under the uh, to on top of the frame and through the frame in different places, and like all the airlines are hidden and dope. Um, the air compressor actually mounts to the outside of the car. It mounts underneath on your frame. It comes with a thing to mount to the frame. The whole chassis is completely waterproof. Everything's sealed. All that stuff. It's got a big metal skid plate along the bottom of it. It's it's tucked up next to your frame, so it, odds are something's going to hit your frame before it ever hits this. But just in case, it's like a pointy rock that maybe went on the other side. It's got a big metal skid plate on the bottom of it to keep anything from hitting the bottom of it. Seems like a really well-made system. I am, we'll see how it holds up long-term, but I'm super pumped with, with it so far. Um, I really like it. And the fact that one system I can run onboard air, I can run airbags and I can run train horns all with one air system and I can control it from an app. Like get the fuck out of here. Control it from an app? How dope is that? Cool. Love it. Wayne, what are you doing? You don't seem very comfortable down there. It's all going to be one video. Um, we're doing that. And then the rack didn't yeah. come in in time because they're custom making the rack. A company called Rack Tech's doing the rack. And um, Here we go. So we are... Um, I'm doing it all as one video because I didn't want to do... Our, a video on the rack by itself. So I got some footage of them doing the air system and stuff when we were there the other day and then, um, and the horns and all that. And then I'm going to get the rest of the footage in a couple of weeks when the rack comes in, we put the rack on, I'm going to smack that all into one video of the air system, the horns, the airbags, the rack and all that all in, at one. That'll be the next truck upload that we do. will be all that stuff getting done. You could um, go live on Instagram next time you're up there. I could up there at Twisted Pro, mm -hmm. up there at the Twisted. Get on for like five minutes or something. Up there at the Twisted Pro, the twi the Twisted of Pro. Show everybody what's going on. The airbags are dope. I was a little like hesitant at first when they recommended the airbags, and I was like, man, I really, you know, I'm I'm gonna have variable loads in the back depending on like, you know, I'm always gonna have the tent on there, but sometimes the trucks are really gonna be loaded up with a lot of shit. Other times it's gonna be. I said I'd really like my truck just to sit level, what? and they're like, well, dude, let's just do airbags, and I'm like, airbags. And that was like low riders doing shit. He's like, no, dude, like tons of like <laughs> trucks that haul heavy shit. Semi trailers use airbags. Uh, he's like a lot of guys that do fifth wheels and stuff have airbags because it keeps everything level when you're doing loads. He goes and they're super durable and they ride really nice. He's like, they're, they're great these days. I'm like, no shit. I'm like, well, sign me up, bro. And I'm, I'm sold now, man. I fucking love it. Mm-hmm. I think mm -hmm. Winnie might have an ear infection. Mm. My panties are, oh, my panties are about to come off. Look at that. <laughs> it's getting close, guys. We're probably not going to get much past the panties coming off tonight because it's 10, 13. We got 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. 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 What else has gone on this week? We did the truck stuff. We got all the Blue Eddie stuff coming. I'm, I'm doing a, I've been doing a bunch of testing on, um, these uh, power stations for, for not only for camping, man. I know like originally I looked into them and started researching it for camping purposes to take out for overlanding so you could power stuff, but also just for preparedness because like some of the bigger power stations you could run like quite a bit of stuff off of. You could run refrigerators, lights, fans, you know, in an emergency situation. And because they take solar power, especially like for a guy like me here in Florida, you run a solar panel out there, you can charge them during the day run stuff off of them and you almost have endless power it was charging really fast too right yeah if you, you i mean if if you're getting direct sun matter of fact the smaller unit the panel was putting off so much power it was too much and i had to flip the panel so that not all the panels were exposed to the sun because i was mm -hmm. going past the maximum wattage for huh. charging on the small unit now the big unit takes like a thousand fifteen hundred watts of solar but the smaller little one that i've been testing is uh 
it doesn't take near as much. So I had to actually shut down part of the panel because it was overcharging. Wouldn't take the amount. Wouldn't take the wattage. It was getting over overpowered. Somebody asked. This is see. a good cigar, though, man. This uh, I know we haven't been concentrating on the cigar as much because we were doing that tasting tonight. But let me do let me do another, some more. Oh shit, dude! I keep knocking this off. Let me do some more notes real quick. I know it's late. A lot of you guys are gone, but. Well, I can't look them up, but somebody was asking who was doing the truck build. They're called Twisted Pro. <laughs> uh, me and uh, Twisted the Pro. Shop. Well, there's a lot of people involved in it, honestly. Yeah. Um, because well, they're who's doing like all the truck mods, but right. the The shop that I'm taking but, it, yeah. the shop that I'm taking it to, that's doing the stuff that I don't want to handle myself. Either I don't, I, I don't feel comfortable handling it myself, or I just don't want to because it's just more work than I have time to do. Is Twisted Pro All Terrain? They're in uh, St. Augustine, Florida. Great guys. They. Sp- Specialize in that shit. I mean, dude, they just did a full pre-runner build on a Chevy where they gutted the whole truck, cut out the fender wells, and the shocks are going. I mean, they do full custom shit. So that I mean, they're perfectly capable of doing anything you need them to do. Um, so they're doing a lot of the more complicated, time-consuming builds that I don't have time for. But you know, there's a bunch of companies that I'm working with on the build, like Blue Eddy for my power stations, uh, Extrusions Overland. I'm working with with the the bed rack that I did, um, Midnight Forest for the water system. Who, <laughs> dude? Look at this guy. I can't look over here and not laugh. That he cause he's just like totally fucking snoozed up. Um, they can't even see him all. Let me see if I can get a picture. But. Uh, Yes, yeah, so there's a bunch of companies we're working with for for the build, for in varying degrees. Some of them are fully sponsoring the build, and they sent me free stuff. Some of them gave me really good discounts on stuff. Uh, I'm I'm working, trying to work out a deal with uh, Rome right now to get some <laughs> Rome boxes for the the storage in the truck on the like put on the the, the truck rack and stuff. Uh, boop, snoozing. Just straight snoozing. <laughs> Just snoozed up. The snoozeronimo. Oh, he's a mess. He's ready for bed. Him's tired. But yeah. But um, anyway, so notes on the cigar real quick. And I'll give the notes one more time because they basically stayed the same, honestly. And like I said in the beginning, this cigar didn't do a whole lot of transitioning. There wasn't a whole lot of like crazy little things popping in and out. It was... Kind of a basic cigar, but I really enjoyed the flavors that are in there, so it didn't bother me. Cedar, pepper, leather, nutty. And then by the second third, there were some coffee flavors that got added in there. Um, and a nice little sweetness coming in. The, the sweetness wasn't there in the very beginning, but about the second third, the sweetness came in and it stayed all the way through. It actually got sweeter as the cigar went, which was kind of strange because that's kind of awesome, uh, our opposite of what you would normally get, but also awesome. Um, but those were the basic notes. It was a peppery, leathery, nutty. I didn't get a lot of chocolate out of this, which is weird because that's normally for um, Connecticut broadleafs. I usually get a lot of chocolate. Cedar, pepper, leather, nutty with some nice coffee and sweetness. And it, it pretty much stayed that way the whole way through, man. But it's a very enjoyable cigar. It draws really nice. Burns really nice. No complaints whatsoever. And it is time. You know how he wakes up for that freaking ring doorbell sound it is time <laughs> to baby honey Can somebody oh give that's me a <laughs> no it's not time for that one sorry that was the that was the wrong one it's just, oh yeah it's time to panty at least i'm removing the first layer of panties the first layer of panties we're not going to make it to the second layer did you wake up because you heard the door beep mm-hmm my Ring app, I have it on to where it gives me a notification anytime it senses movement out there because I'm a psychopath and I like to know where if there's any movement outside of my house. And uh, the dogs have been trained now, kind of like dogs get trained for the sound of the doorbell. They get trained to the sound of my app going boom, 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 going off that there's movement, and they all like run to the front door because they're psychos. They're, it's annoying. It is it's annoying. It's very annoying. It is annoying. Because especially when like one of them's like Rosie will be like laying on the couch when they relaxed, that thing will make a noise and she will literally springboard off of my balls <laughs> full speed 
crush my nuts on the way trying to get to the front door as fast as she humanly can. And I'm like, oh! The annoying thing is that 98% of the time... It's just a car going by. No one's at the door. Mm -mm. It's just somebody driving by. Mm -hmm. But they all run to the door. And then they come right back because nothing's happening. That's a good point, Lucas. He said you took the bra off. I didn't take the panties off. I (laughs) I took the bra off because I took the top the top undergarment off. So yes, I removed the bra. And yeah, these are some big old panties. He said them some big panties. <laughs> yeah, the, the the bottom band on this is big. She got some, some granny panties. She got some granny panties on this one. Mm. Yeah, it's weird that I don't get a lot of chocolate in this cigar. I almost always get chocolate notes in Connecticut Broadleafs, but this one, I mean, maybe if I searched for it, maybe, but what I get more than coffee is like a chocolate, which, or I'm sorry, what I get more than chocolate is a coffee. Jesus, I had that all fucked up. Um, The coffee note in this, which I often get coffee in Connecticut Broadleaf, but it's normally like a chocolatey coffee. This is just more of a coffee vibe. He's a good boy. And talking to microphone. My man says he's new to the channel. I don't know how to say that. Well, hello. Fre- frequent flyer? Where? Fre- frequent flyer? Is that what that is? Yeah. Fre- frequent flyer? Is that how you say that? Uh, n- new to the channel. Enjoying. Welcome. Well, welcome, good sir. Glad you're enjoying it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Dude, I'm saying, Derek. Dogs. Crushing men's nuts for centuries. I'm saying, <laughs> No, I'll just read that. Look, look. He said, Spade says the same thing. I have a dog the same to me. I don't know why they do it. <laughs> Adam Aldemir says he's not getting chocolate. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's weird because I, I know I've said this like five times, but I normally like, I can almost always count on Connecticut Broadleaf to bring the chocolate. And this, even though it is a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper, it does not bring the chocolate. And while I love chocolate, I'll say it's not disappointing necessarily because the flavors in it here are still very good. I really enjoyed this cigar. Peppery, leathery, earthy. Some cedar with cedar. Another note that I often don't get in in uh, Connecticut broadleaf. A lot of time with the Connecticut broadleafs, I will get something that is more oaky, unless for me for my palate, what I taste. But this one's more more of a cedar, cedar, leather, pepper, some coffee. It's nice. He just sneeze. I don't know he what went, he did. <laughs> he did it right in the microphone too. Do we don't have next week's cigar yet, do we? <laughs> no, because I needed to talk to you about it, and you've been tied up and busy, and because I needed to know if this one is going to be in the lineup. Oh, it'll be in the lineup. Yeah, oh, nice. yeah. There was whiskey tonight, bearded uh, gamer. We. Um, we we got we did a full we did four we, different yeah we did four tonight. different whiskeys we did a full blind whiskey tasting earlier on we just got done with it and now I'm just having a little little sodi pop with the rest of my cigar so but yeah we we had a bunch of whiskeys um so yeah I don't know normally about this time of the night we start talking about the cigars for next week and what's coming for next week and I I I don't have the list yet but if you're on Patreon. It'll be posted. I need to get with you with what date that will be. And then I have the list and I'll try to get that up like tomorrow. I'll put it on Patreon. I'll put it on Discord and we'll send it out in the newsletter. So that way we can get you guys. So if you do want to get them ahead of time. And it'll be um, it'll be on the website. You so can click through to the other site. We try to be on there with the dates. Yeah, it's on the website <laughs> because we can't link directly to any cigar sales because that is a no-no for YouTube. But if you do want to get them in time to smoke along with the live stream, we'll uh, we'll have it all listed on the the website and stuff like that, so you guys can get them if you want them. If it's something you're interested in, not that we're pushing them. YouTube, we're not trying to sell anything. I do wonder how many people um, smoke the same one. Well, I know Sarah Bear and Guffy normally do. Uh, Rune King normally does. Yeah. There's a handful of people that I know usually do smoke along with the live stream. I think Cigaro Prepper does often. Um, there, there's a handful of the regulars that <coughs> I feel like chime in and are normally um, normally smoking along. 
There's Sarah Bear right there. Hey, Sarah Bear. She says, sorry. Guffy, I'll time. have the list up tomorrow. So you'll have time. Tomorrow. Uh... <laughs> Guffy says, uh, we can't get it by next week if you don't fucking let us know. <laughs> That's my bad. I think they already have all the cigars. so They're soon, ready to go. They're ready to go. So as soon as yeah. she lets you guys know and stuff, they'll be up and they're already in stock and they can, they can ship them right away. So... Um, we do need to get it up tomorrow though. Cause it does take three or four days to get nationwide, Yeah, you know? So that way they should have them by, by next Wednesday. If they order them by, well, if you tell me what date, um, we can do the hold fast cigar that I can post well, the we, list. We, we like, don't want to do the hold fast cigar till probably close to when it's available. And I don't remember what the, available, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, I don't remember what Brian said. He said something. Just text Brian and ask him. I can't remember. I've had so much shit going on, so many dates with so many trips and stuff playing late. I can't keep my head around all these dates. But, um, but yeah, just well, somebody said every, yeah, Gufferino. See, Gufferino says every week they smoke along. Um, all right, that's good. Um, that's good. No, I, I like it that people smoke along. Sometimes no, I, I want them to. Sometimes I'm curious. I'm like, but I just uh, don't know because you know a lot. Obviously, there's 300 people that are in here, and all you know, not everybody comments. Obviously, so. Cigaro Prepper um, says next week, Cyrus Habano, please. The Habano, the original Habano, or the Holdfast Habano, the, the 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 box press that we did before this new one that we're coming out with. Specify. Clarify, Mr. Cigarro Prepa, and we'll see if we can't get it on the list. Are you talking about the original Sires Habano that's around normal Vitola? Or are you talking about the Holdfast Habano, the previous Holdfast cigar to this new one that we did that was the box press? That's confusing what you just said. Because... Technically, the last one we did call a Holdfast. This is the brand Holdfast. This is the branded Sire's Holdfast Cigar uh, Pravada brand that we just released. Okay. That's coming out next. But the previous little like collaboration we did was called the Holdfast. Oh. So it is a little confusing. Yeah. Um, Han. What? <laughs> Havano. Did you have a stroke in the middle of typing that? Like, were you typing something and you're like, nah, and just had a stroke? Like, what happened, cigar prepper? I don't, Habano. So, the original round Vitola Habano. Let's do it. Say round or box press. So, I'm just clarifying so I make sure I pick the right one. Round or box press? Say that. <laughs> Say that. So the Habano round or box press. I like the, the box press better personally, but that's just me. I think the, the box press uh, Habano we did last. This new one's a Habano too, which it does make it a little confusing because we've done a lot of Habanos. I'm not going to do a Habano next time. We're going to do like a, a probably some kind of Maduro wrapper, like a um, Connecticut Broadleaf or a San Andreas or something like that. Um, Box. No, wait. That wasn't him. I prefer. Josh said box press. I prefer Cigaro the box. Prepper says round. Right. You like the round one better. Really? Have you had the box press one? And you like the round one better. I'm curious. I love the box press one. If you like the round one better, we'll do the round one. We'll do it. But I personally prefer the box press. Um, but yeah, we can we can do that. I don't know if we'll do it. Ne well, can we do it next week? Sure, we can do it next week. Why not? Yeah, we can do it next week. As long as I'm sure, I'm, as far as I know, they have them in stock. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. We can do that. Okay, so November whiskey says he prefers the round. Okay, so we got some guys that are preferring the round. I will. So what do you want to just say here tonight? I will verify. I will verify that they have them in stock. I'm pretty sure they do. And if we have a sufficient number of them in stock. We will do that next week. We will verify tomorrow, and then we will post it on uh, the... All the things. All the things. We'll post it on the website. We'll post it on the... And, and all, you can post it on here, too. Right. Um, so so that, Like on the... What so, is it? Like communication thing the on com YouTube? Community? community yeah, community, com community tab. tab. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me just verify that we have... Um, 
See, he says he prefers a round too. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, not, <laughs> he says that's... I have both. So whatever you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> he says, okay, your choice. I have both. <laughs> well, I'll I'll see which one they've got better stock of. We'll try to do the round because it sounds like a lot of you guys prefer the round. Um, I'll see, and then I'll, I'll I'll announce it. We'll put it in the in the list. We'll try to have all that up. By I'll some, email him for. By I'll be at. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll email him first thing. Tomorrow. I agree, Alderman. Okay. I think the box press has a great mouthfeel. Fantastic. Sorry, I I know I'm late on the the list this time. Well, it's because we were trying to coordinate it with because we've got the new Holdfast brand box. I wanted and all. to include that so that you know the timing would work out and. Mm hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think that'll be two or three weeks from now because we don't want to drop that until people can get a chance to get it. So, you know, we'll, right. we'll do that. I forgot what the release date's going to be, but we probably want to do that maybe the week after the release. Right. So that people have time to get it. Or maybe we do it the week of the release and just tease people. <laughs> no, we, <laughs> we should probably do it the week after. So, so they can smoke along. Yeah, so they can smoke along. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll get all the timing and, and dates squared away, and then we'll announce it here in the next day. When you're like slipping off the next day, <laughs> my life. Super Jeff, Mo, don't tread on me. Love you guys so much. Please don't ever stop. I knew you weren't gonna know. Doing what you're doing. Doing what you're doing. Yeah, I'm not good with the. I'm <laughs> I'm not one of the cool kids. That knows I read it, it and I was like, he's not gonna have any idea. No, what no, no. I I uh. I am not one of the cool kids that uh, is good with all those, but I, I love you too, brother. We, we will not stop. We will not stop. We will not stop. Oh, there you go. He, he even uh, he, uh, translated it for you mm -hmm. down there. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. We actually made it. Let me do this before we get off. We made it to... Fuck, I always do that. I go here before I go there. I need to go to this camera first, and then I go over, and then I can get here. Let me get, let me get a little... Let me get a little edge. Get a little edge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We took the bra well, and the panties off tonight. We had two bands, bra and panties. We did make it. We did fully disrobe the cigar before we got off of the live stream tonight. I was worried there for a while. Guffy said it's out of stock. The hold fast is out of stock? Yeah. Which one? Click, click, click on the page. Are these like... Those are pictures. Is this, is this not the one? No, that's the Habana. Let's go here. I'll just go to the Jeremy Sires page. Yeah, the hold fast. The the hold fast is out of stock. The the box press. Okay, so yeah, we'll probably have to do the round. I'll verify with Brian. Well, where's the round one? Right here. Sorry, Sabana. Oh, okay. Add to cart. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So I think the hold fast are, and, and I don't think we're gonna get any more of the hold fast if we're out because now we've got the the hold fast brand, the whole box, new branding, AJ Fernandez rolled, special, all the things. Um, so, uh, we probably won't restock that one. Cigar O Prepper with another Super Chat. It's time for the Sire Cigar on the Live. Round is my choice and box press clamps cheeks. Yay. Appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate all your support. Glad you liked all the cigars. I think you're going to love this one. If you like the stuff we've done in the past, I think you're going to love this one because it's as good, but it's rolled by AJ. It's got another special little leaf in there that I think adds a nice little... Oh, something special. It's very, very good. I really enjoy it. I can't wait for you guys to taste it. Hopefully, you, you, you love it. Um, so, yeah. So, tentatively, I won't say guaranteed, but it sounds like the Hold Fast box press out of stock. Probably going to do the round. Make sure those are in stock. I'll make sure there's a sufficient amount of them in stock and they're not, they're not like 10 left in stock. And then we do it and nobody can fucking order it. Um, but if so, we'll do that next week and we will verify on all the socials. All the places. All right, folks. Well, it's 1030. Big Al's got to work tomorrow. It's time to sign off for the evening. I enjoyed. One more thank you to the guys at Blind Barrels for sponsoring it. Yes. We had a good time. So fun. Good stuff. Again, check it out. Little, 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 
link, little discount for you guys down below. New cigars coming. Bandanas are still out there. Beard oil still down there. All the things are down there. So if you guys need any of that shit, we're always here to help. Got some scars coming. Got some truck builds coming. Got a video coming here probably by the end of the week, if not by early next week on the Blue Eddy stuff, which is, again, be a cool video because not only for people that are into overlanding and camping, but it's just good for being prepared and having a way to go off grid in case power's out and stuff like that, which here in Florida with hurricane season, that's a, a big thing for us. But just about anywhere you have reasons power goes out, thunderstorm, snow, different type shit. Um, so that video's coming. Cool shit coming. All the things. Love you guys. Hope you have a good week. Had a good time tonight. Big Al actually smoked a little bit of a little bit of a cigar tonight. I, had I mean, three puffs. It's kind of a fail, but we're gonna work on that. And um, hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next Wednesday, eight o'clock. Be here or be square. Later. Love you, bitches. Smooches.